Well, hello, pair of peeps, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels Live. There you go. We don't have a title for this series. No. Maybe we'll talk about that. Maybe we'll let the pair of peeps name what this series is going to be. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of the first time we just went live to do a topic that's not, let's not talk paranormal or behind the hauntings hauntings or whatever. It's just more of, hey, did you know? Okay. What if we call it the did you know series? Ooh, could be. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So, who are you? I'm your host, Sean Donnelly. And I'm your co-host, Mary Ann Donnelly, for those of you who don't know us. Oh, man. <laughs> he does that every now and again, and I had to kind of remind him to name himself. I do. <laughs> I do. So how's everybody doing tonight? They're doing good. I, there was uh, one person who was saying something about Friday Eve in the in the chat before we started, and Friday, I'm like, Thursday, oh, you must, be, uh, you must be overseas because it's still Thursday here, and they went <sighs> Friday Eve. And I'm like, oh, I don't have oh, my glasses on. I get it. I don't have my contacts in, and I didn't put my glasses on, so I'm like, eh, what do I need to see? You guys aren't really, you know, in the room with me. I don't have to see your eyes. I just need to look in the direction of the camera every now and again, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it could be the heat, Andrew Kitchens, because it is a little warm. Yes, it is definitely warm here in the studio, and we are not streaming well. We do not have a very good signal, and I probably because of the heat. Uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, out. our central air went out what t- three days ago now. I don't know. It's been like a and year. Uh, they. <laughs> it's been a year. It's so hot. It's been like three days, I think. Uh, this is the fourth day, because that we slept. We've slept on the couch the last three nights, so <laughs> we have a box fan in the window. Our bedroom is actually the hottest room in our house. For whatever reason, heat just accumulates there. So we've been sleeping on the couches in yeah, the living room been, for three days. So it's been a little bit miserable in the house here. Yeah. Uh, we're supposed to get a new system tomorrow, though. Yeah. We're going to be in, broke, but we're going to have a new system tomorrow. It's getting put in tomorrow to kind of chill off the house a little bit, just in time for fall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It'll be good and ready to go, <clears throat> raring to go for next spring w- when it starts up again, right? That's right. So it is a little hot. Computers are a little overheating. We're pushing the threshold. <laughs> so if we drop out and can't come back, you guys know why. Yeah, but we will... We'll have so. some central air back again tomorrow, so Saturday live at 5 should be perfect. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> providing the installers don't blow out the electrical panel or something like that. But Don't even say such things. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <sighs> oh, goodness gracious. Sorry. Sorry, folks. <laughs> we'll have to come back next Tuesday and put your electric back in. <laughs> All right, so how are we doing over there? Okay. Doing okay? <clears throat> Let me get all combobulated here because we're a little discombobulated at the moment. i got way too much stuff open. Yeah, so everybody's starting to pop in. We've got uh, Harmonies here, and uh, Tracy just showed up. So hello, <clears throat> Tracy. We got a Hello, video Tracy. from Tracy. Hello, Harmony. Yeah, we have... Uh, Super awesome. So the idea for tonight's show, what we're talking about, <clears throat> on the uh, B&O terminal building down there, there's actually a gargoyle. Actually, it's called a grotesque. Yes, and we found that out. we're going to explain the difference here in a little bit. But in the video we put out Tuesday, we get a little message from Tracy saying, hey, there's something in that window. So that's the second part of the show, is kind of share that with you guys, in case you missed it. Uh, Might have caught something in that window. That was pretty interesting stuff there. I'm surprised that she caught it. It was so quick. I know. Are you kidding me? I know. I messaged her, and I said, seriously, do you, like, watch these frame by frame? (laughs) Because it did. It it just, it was a pan. And I'm like, how did you see that? (laughs) Yeah. So we thought, okay, on Thursday's video... We'll go live and do, like, a did you know. I guess we're going to call this did you know. Okay. Did you know. Did you know series. Did you know. So this 
this is really it's kind of related to a building but it's not a behind the haunting it's just some interesting information so did you know Siri? did you know i wrote it down it's should official. we put it out to the peeps and ask them if that's what we should call this do series? you want it to be a did you know what do you guys think let us know in the comments <laughs> whether you care or not <laughs> It's going to be one of those nights. It is 4,000 degrees in here. I'm surprised I'm not drenched yet. <clears throat> <laughs> he is not used to this. He has I not been the heat. in anywhere except the outdoors for at least 12 years without air conditioning until this week. So yes. he is melting <clears throat> so bad. He's like a little ice cream cone that's just going. I <laughs> am very uh, spoiled. Yes, you are. And. Andrew was in my office today at work, and it's like snowing in there. Really? Yeah, it's like freezing. Did you know cold Andrew there. was coming to work today? Yes, I did. Oh, did you take him his treasure? I forgot. We talked about that. I forgot. Good job. <laughs> I forgot. <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you. We'll have to wait till I go back to work, that's huh? Right. Well, see, that's your job anyways. You, <laughs> oh. should, so you should have reminded me to put it in the car. I didn't know he was going to be there. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of an important piece. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, ATJH Travel is here. They are <laughs> listening because they're watching the Steelers game. <clears throat> That's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all right. I just thought you would have more to say <clears throat> about that. I guess it's the heat. He's not it's a <laughs> responding very it's a well. <laughs> yes. My dad was watching it, too, when I called him a little while ago. Was he? Yeah. All right. All right so, so you want to do a uh, roll call? Roll call. We don't have a format for these shows. It's the first one in the series. So we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> All right. Let's see so who's here. We have Andrew Kitchens, ATJH Travels, Bob78550, Dover Paratech, Irish Whiskey 77, Just Out and About, Crypt 6, Michael Sims, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, I've seen him around, uh, Tracy is here, Tea Throng, and Tea Town Mary Ellen, and I know we had some other individuals in here that were on early, uh, haven't said anything in a little bit, that's Big T Coins, <coughs> and I don't know if I mentioned Irish Whiskey and Harmony. Uh, I think that that, oh, Wonder Pup Adventures, Scratch and Serif, uh, Scratch and Surf maybe. Uh, I think that's about it. If I miss anybody, please mark it down in the chat and I will make sure we say hello to you. That's right. And as we're going through our presentation, please get to know each other. Yes. <clears throat> and as we always do when we're live, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, show us some love there and share this out. Let's see if we can get some more people to the party. And we will get started here with the presentation. Okay. All right. Yeah, sounds like a plan. <clears throat> All right, does anybody in chat know actually where gargoyles came from on buildings? Does anybody know before we tell you? Because what we're going to do with this series, did you know, we're going on a fishing trip. A fishing trip. A fishing trip. Now, what's that mean? Well, when you does go it, fishing... Does it mean I get to gut some, like, fish? No, you sick woman. Oh. No. When you go fishing and you catch fish, what do you do with the little ones? You throw them back. The big ones you keep. Take them and eat them. Right? Yeah, because you so, have to do some some good things for nature. you got to let the little ones grow right. before, you so know... So, it's the same thing with this presentation. Sustainability. With this presentation that we go over, there might be some stuff that you've never heard of before. Find interesting. That's a big fish. Keep it. If it's stuff, oh yeah, I knew that. That's a small fish. Throw it back. Just don't hit me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who knows at this point. Does anybody know where gargoyles come from? Merlin. The sound of water. Says uh, <clears throat> Merlin and the sound of water seems to be their answer so far. Andrew says sitting on a boat. 
boat drinking beer, but I don't know if that was to that question or not. <laughs> All right, if we don't, let's talk about where they came from. All right. Hey, Clint Shall Moore has we? just joined the room. Hello, Clint. Gargoyles. 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 So the name gargoyle actually means throat or gullet. It derives from a French word called gorgorely. Did you know that? You didn't know that, did you? It means throat or gullet. Mm -hmm. You didn't know that. I didn't know that prior to our <coughs> research. Oh, prior to our research. You're but I know say, it no, now. That's interesting. No, tell me more. <coughs> <laughs> All right, so if you look at this picture that I have here, you'll notice that this gargoyle actually has a hole in the mouth there. Yeah, and that is not a problem that happened as a result of some mason chipping it wrong when they were creating it. In fact, it has a true purpose. That's right. It has a practical purpose. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the purpose of these very interesting sculptures or whatever you want to call it on the side of buildings was actually they were part of the system to divert water from the roof. Mm -hmm. so this is like pre-gutter system that we are used to now that we have on our houses with the gutters that collect the rainwater and it takes it off. These were on the corners and the sides of the building that all the water would come off the roof, shoot through the gargoyle out the mouth away from the side of the building to keep the water from running down the side of the building and washing out the grout. Yeah, so it was actually quite practical. And uh, the buildings had, you know, eaves and things on it that allowed the water all to drain to those central points. And in <laughs> fact, when we were, it, it didn't have a, really a gargoyle that I remember on it. I don't, there's no gargoyle on it, but we were in uh, the hotel in Chicago. Uh, and right outside our window, we were actually able to see all of those, you know, cement uh Type gutter system going to the edge of the building to release it over the edge. We saw that, but it wasn't made with a gargoyle. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the original uh, big big buildings did have gargoyles for that very purpose. Yeah. Now this dates back this practice of using these, um, and I'm probably jumping ahead in a presentation. Shocker. <clears throat> Do we really have a major presentation? Yeah, kind of, a little oh, bit. Oh, kind of, all right. But the, the practice of putting these ornate creatures, mm -hmm. so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, for this purpose actually dates back to Egypt. Yes, and way they didn't, back. They didn't use the gargoyle figure that we're, we're aware of, but they used like lion's heads and stuff like that. So Egypt, Roman times, that kind of thing, they did that. <clears throat> but... The actual legend of the gargoyle. Isn't he? Isn't he a pretty one? He's pretty. You know that none of the gargoyles actually are identical. No, they're all unique. They're all different and unique because they were all individually hand chiseled. And most of them, I don't know what's in your presentation. I should be quiet. Well, it'd be nice if you kind of helped out a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> I was going to say some more stuff, but I don't want to, like, jump on your uh, presentation. That's all right. Anyway, so most gargoyles are uh, those creatures that we just saw, and we'll talk about the legend of that creature-looking thing, the winged half-man, half-creature, bat-wing type thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that actually comes from, there's an actual legend for that figure, but... <clears throat> so there's like you said there's different types of gargoyles there's some that look like that there's some that look like uh people's faces yeah and the ones that look like people's faces there's uh, yeah, many of them step who in my presentation but that's okay there's many of them who <clears throat> they were actually chiseled to look like friends and relatives of the people who actually did the chiseling yeah the either either the sculpture the people who did the sculptures or the designer of the buildings or the builder of the buildings mm -hmm. um and then there's some that have multiple heads some that have you know different features but you're right there's there's no two that's the same mm -hmm. now if you have a figure like on if you saw our tuesday's video you notice that there is a 
gargoyle looking thing on top of the B and O. Yes. But it doesn't have the the hole in the mouth. It's not a purpose type thing. Right. So in actuality, it's not a true gargoyle. Right. It is called a grotesque. Yes. So it's just a little statue. Now, when I talk about the legend here, <clears throat> the legend is believed that those symbols, whether it's the ones that drain the water, a gargoyle or a grotesque, is the purpose of them is to ward off evil spirits mm. from entering the building. Very cool. Sorry, I'm responding to some things in the chat. <clears throat> That's okay. Maybe. I kept on, I was typing away and then I realized that my cursor wasn't on the spot to type back. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. So uh, they were questioning whether people had seen the gargoyle cartoons. Have you seen gargoyle cartoons? I haven't. Uh, and uh, they said they did a lot of historical creepy stuff uh, towards the end of that particular show. It was called Gargoyle Cartoon. We're going to have to look that up. And um, they were also, uh, Dover Paratech was asking, you know, Gargoyle, what do you do after you brush your teeth? I don't know the answer to that yet because they haven't said so. So for those of you who know, stick it in the chat and... Let us know the answer. We want to know the answer to the joke, right? Gargoyle. So do gargle. you gargle? Gargle, gargle. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Okay. All right, so now that I have my uh, correct uh, <clears throat> presentation up, I had the wrong web page up. Well, that's <laughs> wonderful news. It didn't match. It was kind of the same, but it didn't match. All right, so the oh. name... Okay, the legend. Let's get back to this. The legend of the gargoyle. Okay, so this derives from a legend that dates back to 600 BC. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, uh, help me out here. So it's a French legend. Gargoule. Gargoule. Um, where, who was the... Uh, priest or something uh, i don't see his name anywhere anyways this priest went out and slayed this creature that looks like that basically which is half man half little creature with bat wings okay to banish from the town of rowan and then what he did was is he chopped off its head burnt the rest of the body couldn't burn the head the head and the neck because this thing would breathe fire and it said that so the it head, was like fireproof <laughs> yeah the head was fireproof so they took the head of this thing uh -huh. and stuck it up on the building to ward off any evil spirits and to protect it from any evil dragons or anything like that so that's where this began way back then so back with the priest romanus huh Romanus, there we go. Priest named Romanus. He well, vanquished the beast from the town, <laughs> chopped off his head, burnt the body, took the head, put it on a stake, and stuck it on the building to that's ward off just any more dragons. Crazy. And that's why they look the way they do. That's why they look so creepy. Interesting. But you're right, not there's <laughs> not two that look the same. Okay. We are like very slow going tonight. <laughs> Sorry. It's just the heat. We're going to blame it on the heat anyway. We're going to blame it on the heat because <laughs> I am melting like a toasted cheeser over here. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <sighs> All right. So, anyways, has anyone heard that story before? Is where these came from? Anybody um, out there? Have you heard that or heard anything different? Um, not from what I'm seeing in the chat so far. They pretty much uh, have left. <laughs> no, they're they're talking about the cartoon. Mm. Uh, so they're they're uh, they're busy. <laughs> okay. All right, they can be busy. That's fine. Yeah. Go ahead, do your thing. Yeah. <clears throat> so what else do you have there, Mister Sean? All right. So through time, I mean, this was 600 BC. So over time, of course, they've changed a little bit, and then. 
you went from the grotesque to the gargoyles on the you know the buildings and stuff like that but they were used in other like you'll find these on churches and stuff yes and most people find it really weird that a church would have these really grotesque eerie creepy just evil looking right stone sculptures yeah, why are they putting these like on churches like they don't get it well there's two reasons mm -hmm. okay yep two reasons See, you're supposed to pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about, oh, so it makes it okay. easy for me to do this. Okay. But that's okay. Okay. That's all right. So tell me more. What What were the two purposes then? <laughs> all right. So the first purpose, basically, was to put fear into the parishioners. Why would you want to put fear into <laughs> parishioners? Well, you would have the gargoyle on the outside of the building facing out to ward off evil spirits, Okay. But on the other side of them, once you pass through the walls of the church, you were safe. Okay? And then as the parishioners left the church, if they look back, it's to remind them that there's evil out there outside of the church. Mm. So it was to place fear into the eyes of the parishioners. Yeah. and That's why they began putting them on churches. That's quite interesting as to why so what's the second reason? the second one was this actually has some ties back to paganism mm -hmm. the symbol okay mm -hmm. so they believed that by putting these ornate looking creatures on the churches they may just bring some pagans on to, into the building because they'll see these and go Hey, that's quite interesting. Let's go see what's going on in that building. So that's how they got pagans into the church sometimes and converted them. Very good. And uh, the pagans, for the most part, um, from what I've read, they weren't really reading a lot. No, they weren't literate so, culture, a literate culture. So they would see the symbols. And they would... And they would go, huh, let's go over to that building. I think that's where we're supposed to be. <laughs> and they, once they got them inside, they were like halfway through the thing and go, hmm, this don't sound familiar. This is kind of interesting. And convert. Very so there's two reasons why they used to put them on churches. And then later on there was a third because then they become gargoyles to help deviate the water from the roof of the churches. So true. So true. See, I bet you guys didn't know all this stuff about those creepy little creatures on these buildings. Bet you didn't know. Michael I bet you says, don't care. Michael says those crafty <laughs> Christians. That's right, some crafty <laughs> Christians. And uh, they're talking about they thought that the gargoyle looked a little bit like the Ghostbusters gargoyle. And uh, that's pretty much what I had thought about when <clears> you first <throat> said, let's, let's do the gargoyles. And I'm like, oh, the Ghostbusters gargoyles, you know. <laughs> But uh, we decided to do that because of the grotesque that is on the BNO. Yeah. So I mentioned in the beginning, because I, I have a tendency when I do a presentation or whatever where I jump ahead. I mean, I have all this stuff, but then I start just talking and let things flow. And then, like, the presentation as I go through, it doesn't line up. But yeah. I did mention that this dates back to Egyptian right? thing. And yeah. they used to do lines. So Actually, have a here's the that, graphic huh? that goes <laughs> with that. <laughs> So is this this would be on a, a pyramid or mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah and an Egyptian type structure um, the actual oldest known gargoyle dates back to the area of Turkey okay okay I couldn't find a photograph of it that wasn't copyright. I'm not going to say the name of that place where the you get pictures. Place? Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's an alligator. Okay. All right. You know, which yep. makes sense with the mouth open. Yeah, the and mouth would be a up. huge mouth for an alligator. Yeah. Awesome. So they think these things are creepy, basically, is what I'm getting in the chat. Well, we are creepy. Hey, if you haven't been to our channel before... <laughs> Go ahead, show some love. Hit that subscribe button because uh, we have a tendency to get a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Irish Whiskey says, but beauty is on the inside. Uh, <clears throat> and Crip6 says, didn't they place them uh, there to ward off wolves too? Well, evil spirit. So I guess if you would say a wolf, a wolf was would... an evil spirit or some sort of spirit in, in a wolf that was evil, then mm -hmm. probably yes. 
Uh, let's see here. Michael says, most pagans and heathens didn't have a written language because they were very oratory with their lore. Yes. And that's where you get the stories by the campfire. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so. Looks like a demon frozen in cement. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the most famous gargoyles that are on churches, and that's on the uh, Notre Dame in Paris. Okay. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, the creatures that you see on that building are fairly new. They are? Yes. The ones that you see on there today date back to the mid-1800s. So were they replaced? They were replaced. Mm. There was a major reconstruction done to the Notre Dame Church. And they replaced all of the gargoyles because they were crumbling and falling apart and things like that. Gotcha. Did they try to make them similar? Nope. They're all different. They're all new. They're all different designs. And so all even stuff. from the originals, they didn't try to make them relatively close. No. Interesting. No. Now these, see, if I was doing a reconstruction, I'd like try to make it. These designs are like just you know, whatever creatures are coming up with. See, if I was doing a reconstruction, though, I would try to, like, model what I was making after what I was trying to replace. Yeah. So that people wouldn't notice that it was different, I guess. But I guess every every gargoyle is unique, so let's keep it that way. I guess. I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so there is a city... Well, the city in the United States that has the most gargoyles. Do you know what it is? Is it New York? No, it's not. You would, think, not it'd be, New York you would city. think it'd be New York. What do you guys think? What do you think? What city in the United States has the most, the most gargoyles? gargoyles? You would think it was New York City. Does anybody know? Let's How about see. ATJH Travels? Do you know? I think they're all thinking. They're Googling. I no, bet you they're Googling. They just stopped watching the live stream. <laughs> no, they're all still here. It okay. still says they're all still here. <laughs> I think they just don't know. Oh, Andrew says Miami. Buzz. No, further north. Same coast, but further north. <clears throat> nope, not Chicago. Not Chicago. But Dover Paratech, by the way, says maybe they were tired of looking for the same thing from the last 400 years when they replaced the Notre Dame ones. <clears throat> Dover Paratech also is saying, what about Boston? Nope. No, not Boston I either. gave you guys a clue when I said ATGH travels. What do you think the city is? That's a clue. Mm. <clears throat> Harmony says Washington? Mm, nope. nope. Not Washington either, Harmony. Tracy says Boston, but nope, definitely not Boston. ATJH Travels just pictured it, pictured it jumping off the building. And they also Pittsburgh. say Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh it is. <laughs> Pittsburgh. So That's right. Pittsburgh is the correct so answer. Let me bring my notes back up. <laughs> Pittsburgh has the most gargoyles of any yeah. United States city. in the 19th century. Okay, because a lot of them have, have we lost them over right. erosion and things like that. They're made mm -hmm. out of granite, but you know they do fall, crumble, and fall apart, and they just take them down because As of time safety reasons. Progresses, yeah. But in the 19th century, um, Pittsburgh embraced the Gothic architecture revival. Okay, and a lot of the buildings that are currently exist in uh, Pittsburgh have gargoyles. Maintained. Yes. Now, I said gargoyles, not grotesques. Mm. Okay, gargoyles, where actually they're still in place and diverting water. Yeah. Although this picture here is a grotesque and not a gargoyle. But they actually have a tour that's called Downtown Dragons. Where it takes them around the town and ATJH travels. Have you been on said tour? Yeah, it's called Downtown Dragons, and they go around and look at the uh, gargoyles. That's kind of cool. That is very cool. It kind of reminds me of a like a um, a TV movie on. I think it was like what's the channel my dad watches all the time? 
Michael Farah Hallmark. does too. Hallmark. I, it reminds me of an old Hallmark movie um, where it was a Christmas movie, and I think it was it was like called Look Up or something. I don't know what the name of it was, but the idea was that they there was a photographer that go out and take just small pictures of things that were really high in the city, and then you'd have to try to figure out what it was from. What city? No, same city, oh. but what what building it was from, and it and the article uh, that the movie was based on uh, in the city is called Look Up, and so as I de- the idea you got to look up instead of just kind of looking, zoning down, looking on your phones, whatever, and that kind of reminds me of that the Downtown Dragons tour. That'd be kind of cool if that was the idea. We had something here in Youngstown that they did a couple of buildings like that on. Uh, the historical society's web web page and stuff the last couple of years and I thought it was super cool. So uh let's see what's going on here did they say most bridges and ATJH travel says most bridges and gargoyles. Um and it has the second oldest cemetery in the USA according to ATJH travels but still no word as to whether or not they have gone on the downtown dragon tour. So I'll let you know if they if they post All right, this or keep no. an eye on. The I will do that. Chat there, okay. All right. Now, like we said earlier, some of the uh, gargoyles. Then again, that's not a gargoyle. That's a grotesque because it doesn't have the water coming out of its mouth. But mm-hmm. anyways, some are actually designed after the um, designers of the building or the architect, so to speak, um, or the actual builder. Uh, of the buildings and they they have human faces they don't necessarily have to be that creepy looking creature thing they could just be little little statues or or whatever of people or animals or that creature or, or whatever yeah and like i said they also would model them after you know relatives and things like that too sometimes um people that they appreciated or uh, looked up to look up to (laughs) i get it Uh and atgh travel says yes they have so that's cool yeah it's very cool do you know is it is it still running and um do you know anything about the timing for those they actually have a web page uh i was on it earlier but it was one of those like older web pages Okay. And I forgot to link it in the description. Gotcha. Because I would, I would like to go on one of those someday. But we don't, we don't like to go. <clears throat> we get lost every time we go to Pittsburgh. Yeah. We get lost when we so. go to Pittsburgh every <laughs> single time. <laughs> so we kind of ha- put a ban on it for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. But we might just have to get over our fears of being lost. Mainly my fear of being lost. I hate being lost. It freaks me out so bad. Yeah, those are. There's a couple <laughs> cities where we go on a trip and we kind of get into a little bit of heated argument because I kind of like rely on Marianne to be the navigator, which is and a then totally. I that let's she just say that's a totally way wrong out of a brown idea. Paper bag. <laughs> And I'll be driving, and the GPS will say, go this way, and I'll look up, and there's, like, six lanes, and I'm like, which one do I want? Which one do I want? She's like, ah, pff, I don't know. <laughs> and then he gets mad at me because I don't it's know. Wrong, it's normally it's the <laughs> wrong road, and then we end up on some road, and we're like, oh, man, we wanted to go over there, and then we got to figure out how to get there, and especially with Pittsburgh, since almost every street, it seems like, is a one-way street. It's a one-way bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one of those little. Yeah, so we, we try to stay away. But we'll have to we'll have to face our fears and yeah. go back sometime <clears throat> soon. <laughs> maybe ATJH travels will will take us and be our tour guides. Yeah, maybe <laughs> then we won't have to worry about it. It seems like I think we've been to downtown Pittsburgh maybe like what six times, and every single time we get the wrong road. We've been to I know Phipps and what else we go to a couple other things the museums and stuff like down there and it'd be like yeah we're on the wrong road then we had to figure out our way around and i think yeah. dover pear tech is making fun of us they put burr going to have to turn the ac down and grab a blanket <laughs> huh nice <laughs> i'm about ready to take my shirt off folks it's so hot here 
but I, I will, won't let him. I will stop the live stream before that happens because nobody needs to see that. <sighs> we have one fan in this whole entire house. One fan, and it's in the front room, keeping the living room about 10, 10 degrees cooler. But yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to this. There's okay. actually a church in France, okay? It's called the Chapel of Bethlehem that they did a renovation back in the early 90s, okay? And they decided to replace all of the crumbling gargoyles on the building, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is actually kind of cool. What they did was is they brought them to modern culture, okay? So some of them is like, gizmo the gremlin and and <laughs> this one this isn't Gims, gizmo who's this dude this is the uh, the bad looking one or the mean one what's what was this uh name of this gremlin but they have like a u.s uh, or ufo robot um the creature from alien things like that from multi or modern uh culture that they replace these with which is actually kind of interesting yeah, that's that's really cool because like the younger generations would appreciate that, you know? They'd be yeah. going, "Oh my gosh, who, it's Who was the who was awesome. the bad? Did you ask that? No, I didn't. Uh who who was the bad uh was it Spike? Was his name Spike? The one with I the mohawk? saw that show one time like when it came out. What was the, what <laughs> like, was the name of the bad the ago. bad gremlin in the movie? I can't remember. I think it was Spike or something like that. I don't know, but ATJH Travel says that they've done a haunted jail tour there as well, where Silence of the Lambs was filmed. In Pittsburgh? That's what he says. We're going to have to, like... We're going to have to get some better maps and get done <laughs> it. Uh, yeah. A couple people said Stripe. And, stripe? And one Maybe said Spike. Stripe. Two said Spike, two said Stripe, so... I think... It, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll Google it here in a minute. I only got one more thing to talk about, about gargoyles. Oh, okay. Let's see if my slide what relates. That? That's so that's gremlins. Okay. So, in Washington, D.C., because I know somebody brought that up earlier, Washington, D.C. Stripe. It looks like it's Stripe. Stripe? That's okay. what the picture is in Google. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go with... Yeah, it's been a while since I saw that movie. It's yeah. a good movie. It's a great movie. But it's yeah. been a while List since I saw it. List of Gremlins. Um, <clears throat> the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. Yes, I've been yeah. there a couple of times. They ran in some of the same type of situation where they had to replace some of the gargoyles because they were, you know, falling apart. Right. And they held a uh, design cost contest for kids. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and they said on one of them they wanted to uh, let it let a kid pick out what the design was going to be. Okay, so this was back in the '80s, and they chose the design from the names in here somewhere. Where's it at? Uh, Christopher Raider won for his design of Darth Vader. So the so there is that the. Uh, <gasps> Washington National Cathedral. Cathedral in D.C. There is a, well, that's a grotesque because right. the water's not right. coming out, of uh, Darth Vader on the side of it. Now, they say it's hard to find this on I the was, building. Yeah. Like, you know, if you're if you're trying to find it, but it, you know, it's actually there. Here's a picture of it. I find that really interesting because um, that happened back in the 80s. And I've been to Washington Cathedral, to the National Cathedral, several times since then. And I do not remember what? seeing that at all. Are you serious? So, um, anyhow, I that's what I was, I was looking at. It was like, oh my gosh, like so weird that I don't remember ever seeing that. Because you would think that would stand out. Well, it's it's small. I guess you, it's hard to find. Yeah, under, it's a smaller one. It's, it's kind of cool that yeah. the, the kid won. And this was back during the Star Wars craze and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. all that kind of. So anyways, that's gargoyles. That's very cool. The, the so, history, where they so, come from, what they mean, and, what a grotesque is. Yeah, and, and most of them stuff. today are grotesques because they don't right. include the, the water. Right. It was, uh, what did I say, 
in that one thing it was the late 19th century or early 19th century gothic design incorporated a lot of gargoyles in the architecture mm -hmm. but uh yeah they it's a hidden thing they don't do too much of that anymore so mm -hmm. mostly it's grotesque and i've seen houses with them on them too and i'm like okay that's a little bit strange but <laughs> the purpose of it is to weed off evil spirits so okay all right what we got going on in chat um let's see Basically, we have uh, Timber Hill Red Bone Coon Hounds has joined us, and Budget Bushcraft, Bushcraft has joined us. And hello, hello, Kitten. hello. So hello, hello, everybody. So I don't know if we're going to do a marathon tonight. We need the watch time, but it is actually 4 million degrees here in the studio. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I don't know how long we're going to be live. So they kind of said they liked the go presentation. It was, it's kind of cool. I mean, it, it would have actually would have been better if, I'm not like dripping, but um, <laughs> yeah, I had it all planned out, but I find it interesting like where they came from. Because like I said, like to see them on churches and see them on different buildings, it was like, okay, that's kind of strange. Usually, like, they're really super cool. And when you see them on buildings, they're like, wow, you could tell that's an old building. It's got those gargoyles on top, you know, or whatever. But it's very weird when you look at a church and you see them and you're like, oh, my gosh, what's that And if that you about? see so them, like if, so you're, if you're in Pittsburgh or New York City or any big city with a gothic type style and you look up and you see these, look real close and see if there's a hole in the mouth. Right. If there's a hole in the mouth, that is a true gargoyle, which means throat or gullet, mm -hmm. a French word. Mm hmm and the back of those things have a hole that the downspout comes out and it shoots the water out the mouth. It's to divert the water away from the buildings, which is kind of cool. So, all right. Did you have anything else you'd like to add about gargoyles? Um, just, you know, there's, there's so many different types of gargoyles. And we mentioned a couple of them. Um, some of them have multiple faces. You know, they have yeah, multiple, multiple heads, heads, multiple faces. Um, sometimes they have... I'm going to stop you a second. Just out and about says she's got to head out. Thank you for oh, stopping well, by, Oh, thanks for coming Dawn. by. Appreciate that. Yep. Uh, what was that? It took YouTube 35 minutes to let Bush Bushcraft you know we were here. Oh. Uh, I was it's wondering why it was on the b Budget Bushcraft, it's yeah. the heat. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to blame everything on the heat. <laughs> but... What's it also interesting is that there's a lot of them that seem to have a sexual type theme to them as well, like showing uh, all kinds of body parts or yeah. showing sexual relations. And those are also uh, considered grotesques and things like that, uh, basically for the idea of fertility. So it was kind of the pagan religious beliefs for fertility. So if you see any of those <clears throat> that still exist today, it was the idea of, you know, so, uh, carrying on the so species. So Dover says, I just realized those crickets. I hear your crickets. Well, yeah, I have <laughs> the, I'm surprised we don't hear the frogs, but I have the windows open in here because yeah, it's quite warm. So <laughs> I apologize for the crickets, but that's, that's the ambiance, the crickets. Yeah, Timber Hill said, uh, I give up on watch time. <laughs> It'll happen when it happens, right? It's just, he's so close right now. He's like chomping well, at the bit. Well, we both I know, but... We both, we're 107 hours away from 4,000 hours. So, you know, he's chomping at the bit over there yeah, for that. We're but... 107 hours away <laughs> from the 4,000. And Hell Kitten says, "Sorry, I was late. I got sidetracked on some videos. I know how you. I know how you feel. I got <clears> sidetracked <throat> and I missed my eBay purchase yesterday for the same thing. I was watching this hard oh, piece of hard tack, isn't so. and I like had it up on the screen to like Talk buy to it, you. and I literally missed it. And I was so disappointed in myself. I like three hours after it was over, I like moved to the other page because I had all these tabs open. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to buy my eBay item. Because I was going to buy a piece of Civil War hardtack they had, and it just didn't happen for me. So I understand completely getting caught up in all of the other uh, live streams and videos and making your own videos. I, I understand completely. 
Uh, let's see here. We also have um, Michael that thought that he was outside and he thought the crickets were with him. That's kind of cool. Thought the crickets were there. <laughs> And Coonhound said that they set up Yankee's channel to play while he slept. <laughs> but that's a helper, I guess. Oh, uh, nice to help out Yankee. Woo. I had to go stand by the fan a minute. You needed My some shirt cool air, huh? Drenched. Yeah. yeah, I'm <clears throat> surprised it's not starting to show on the front already. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, so that's really all I had about gargoyles. Did you have any anything else there? No, that was the presentation. I don't know if you guys, did you guys learn anything new about gargoyles? Anything you would like to add? Uh, we had a little bit of discussion in chat about it, which is um, kind of cool. Um, <laughs> Budget Bookcraft wants to send us a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I am hoping that by noon tomorrow, the air conditioning is running again. I'm, I'm thinking, hoping. What I'm time thinking is it supposed to be here? Eight thirty. I'm I'm thinking by two or so because they said it's going to take about five to seven hours. <sighs> so I'm hoping by two. Yeah, we have one box fan that we own. <laughs> we used to when we bought the house, we didn't have central air, so we had window air conditioners and we had fans all over the place. Then we got central air. We, we got, got rid, rid of, of all, all that of stuff because we yeah. didn't need it. So we have the box fan in case somebody burnt something. To kind of get the smoke out of the house. <laughs> now it's cooling out down the living room. So. Yeah. So they've always thought that gargoyles were cool. So that's awesome. And I've always like thought they were cool too. Well, I really I'm, did. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna tick off my neighbors and buy like three or four of them put on top <laughs> put of the on house. The roof. <laughs> Because we're already considered like the Adams family of the block. <laughs> it would fit in really nicely. I think we're just going to look for gargoyles and, and put them know, up on the roof. If we get them and put them out around Halloween, they'll think it's just going to be <clears> for Halloween the and then leave. it'll just like forget to come down. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, so uh, they never knew so much about them, so thank you for sharing that presentation. All right, so where did you put that picture? Which one? The, the one from the video. Oh, I just dropped it in the, the main folder there that we've been putting all the other stuff On in. On Google Drive? Yes. Yeah, they said five to seven hours to put in a new air conditioning system to yeah, get rid of our old system. Yeah, it's just the outside system. unit. I don't yeah. know. Maybe they got a little bit more work to do. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. But last ugh. silly fact of well, they were out here. This is what I don't get. When were they out here? Tuesday. Uh, yeah. No, when? Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. So Tuesday. it went out Monday night, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Monday night it went out, my first day back to work. So Tuesday morning I called at 8 o'clock when they opened, and they said, well, we can't get out there till tomorrow to check it out. And then they had a cancellation, so they came out Tuesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And the guy said they could either fix it, but they'll have to order a part, and that'll take a while, or just replace the whole unit which will extend our warranty even more, and I won't get into all yeah, that. Yeah, the warranty but they for have the part would have stock. only been an out a year. But they have them in stock. So I said, Marianne, okay, we discussed it and everything. I said, okay, well, let's just replace the unit, call them back Tuesday and get on the schedule. And they're like, oh, well, we can't be back out till Friday. And I'm like, ugh. So I'm debating on sleeping with a pack of ice cubes, although we got rid of the ice cube trays. <laughs> <laughs> We have an electric ice machine. You yeah, know? I'm just going to make an ice shirt. So Andrew says that Christine won't let him put one on their chimney. A uh, gargoyle? Yeah, a gargoyle. Uh, well, you know how my neighbors are, Andrew. I'm sure I really do <laughs> love Oh, I and got the Michael, windows open. I better shut that, up. That's right. Michael says um, that he has gargoyles on his bookcase. And Bob says that uh, the gargoyle cartoon... It was voiced by half of the Star Trek cast. So we'll that's kind of cool. will have to check it out. Which uh, folder did you put it in? I didn't. It was just in the root. Of what? Oh. The one, that I, the one I've been putting everything in. The scripts folder? Yeah. It's 
probably this one because it's longer. Yep, there you go. So this is the blank one, and then I circled things. All right, so I guess that that will take us to our next segment, which is talking about what Tracy found yeah. in Tracy, our video. Tracy's still here? So we got to give T-Throng credit for this yes. one because she saw it. Yes. Did anybody catch our video from Tuesday? Which would be great if our moderator had that link ready to go to post what? it in the chat. <laughs> but that's okay. It's the it should be the video previous to this one, right? So no, no, forget it. Forget it. Up. Yeah, it's the video out there on our channel previous to this one. It's the ghost stories and folklore about the BNO. It's I think it's entitled the haunting of the Youngstown BNO, right? Okay. So at frame, I think it's four thirty. It's four 30, minutes and thirty four seconds. minutes and thirty seconds. Um, I don't know how Tracy caught this. I really don't. Neither do I. It's crazy. It's when we pan to one side of the building in the video. Mm -hmm. Which I think, based on like the location, is that the south side of the building? Because I, I was thinking about we're on the west side, so it's on that side. So is it the south side of the building? Wait, because you get turned around when you go in there. So, it might be the north side of the building. It's the north side of the building. Okay. Boy, you're bad with directions. If you're standing in front of the B&O, yeah, looking at the, the right. which way is Boardman? Um, that way. That way. That's south, so it's the north side of the building. Okay. So, on the north side of the building... <laughs> All right, so anyways, here's the frame. It's on the right side of the building. <laughs> we'll go with that. When you're looking at the yeah. front doors, it's on the right. It's on the right side. So I, I think we still have audio. Yeah, we do. Okay, so this is that frame out of the building. <clears throat> and it just blips, man. It just It's not on the video that, that long. No, it's like super fast. That's why I, I, I joked around with her and I said... Seriously, what are you looking at this frame by frame? <laughs> so, uh, Tracy, is she still here? Yeah, she's still here. Um, we looked at this closer, and we actually went back down there. Uh, that window is actually, um, there's nothing there between that window and a uh, wall that's like, yeah, I don't want to say bricked like a, over, but they, you can see like this. It's like a false wall. Yeah, you they can put see inside. the uh, metal studs <laughs> and drywall. So there's nothing between that window and that inside of that wall. And we saw more than one. Yeah. Okay. When you, so if when you, you look, look at it for a while, there's there's a there's one there. There's one there. There's one there. I'll go back without the circles, but that's pretty interesting stuff there. That one, that big one, really is prevalent. But the little man there is kind of interesting, too. So there are multiple, it looks like multiple faces in that window. Yeah, and the one the one looks like something. One there. Looking, that one looks like something that's looking over something else. And then if you look at this one, it looks like it's looking over to me. It looks like a, a cat or, some, or something. He's looking over it. And then the next one, uh, it's just a weird, like, Face. Face. It looks like Jason, maybe, or is something. There, I don't know. After this? Yeah. And then there's the one that I saw first when Tracy said that. I pulled it up. This is the guy I saw first. It looks to me like an older guy with like a uh, a beard and a darker jacket with like a, a white looking center. Looking a different direction. And as I'm looking mm -hmm. at this, I'm seeing another one like right here. See that? Yeah. So, so it's this, super. Like, multiple faces. It's super in there. weird. And, uh, now, Again. if you stop that, okay, if you guys go and watch that video and stop it right at 4.30 mm -hmm. and that frame comes up and then tell it to look at that picture in the 1080 mode. Yeah. But freeze it first and yeah. look at it. You'll notice that in those windows, because we were talking, I think it might have been with Tracy or, or somebody else, it's like, oh, it's the clouds. But if you stop it and it comes in real clear, um, you'll actually see trees. 
because that window kind of tilts down. Mm -hmm. And we went back down there again just to check and try to take some more pictures and see if we could duplicate that. We can't. Mm -hmm. It's not, it, you don't see the clouds. And that definitely looks like a little bit cloudy, you know, like clouds maybe. Mm -hmm. But if you stop that and tell it to look at the high resolution when you see the reflection of the trees. Yeah, there's like the more you look at it, there's more faces in there, which is yeah. Because I just found I just found a, another one that looks very much like a gargoyle. <laughs> so this is what we call potential evidence. We're not saying yeah. those are faces and this is true, but this is potential evidence. And we went back down try to duplicate it. We couldn't. And right. I like to go back down with let's see. So we recorded that on the Sun cell phone. Yeah. Go back and try to pan that again and see if we could catch the same thing and duplicate Yeah, that. we did it both times for the video on the cell phone. Um, we also did video on the Sony camera. Yeah. And we didn't see much of the same thing Yeah, we else. went through probably about 15 different pictures and went, took more and just to see and they're not there we can't get it to come back because we thought if you could go down and duplicate it like the same where you're standing same situation he's oh yeah okay that's the reflection off that or reflection off of this or whatever and we can't get that to duplicate it's just really really interesting yeah and and like you said when you look at i'll bring it back up again. Um, when you look at the uh so there's one two three four probably about five or six now that we've found um i can't remember what i was going to talk about what, what were you saying i don't know i was talking i was trying really it's hard water. to type and think <laughs> and talk and look uh but oh i know what i was going to say the the picture when we went back and we looked at it uh, I was taking a picture from about the area where the picture looked like the angle that was on the video that we stopped at yes. the 430. Yeah. And I was standing there and you're like, come over here, look at this. I'm like, okay, I'll be right there, you know, I'm videotaping, you know. And uh, when I walked over, you're like, look, there's like a false wall here. And uh, so that upper windows, the upper windows there are... Um, that whole window is actually, has like a blacked out, like, yeah, it's like it paint, paint they painted it. them and the paint peeled the or paint something. The paint peeled on those top windows yeah. off, but there's only like three like squiggles of it left. It's not like it's a whole bunch of them like in these patterns. And that's what I thought when I was like, oh, well, maybe it's these patterns. And I'm like, no, those aren't the patterns of those faces at all that we saw. Right. And that's pretty cool. So we'll be posting some of those pictures that are like a little bit more close up, Some right? Do you have those? Uh, no, you don't have them here on this drive. What we're going to do, by the way, is we'll post these pictures in our Discord under the uh, research uh, discussion area. Marion's going to post a link to our Discord. We'll put these pictures out there. Eventually, we're going to link these in the Panic D uh, database as well. But we'll let you guys see these close up pictures and the follow up pictures of when we went back down there but this is definitely kind of uh interesting stuff there i want you guys to look at these a little bit more and see what your thoughts are yeah and let's get that discussion going in our uh discord yeah. so michael is headed out to go and uh do some work on some of his things so thank you very much for stopping by and uh we enjoyed having you. So I got to do a couple thank yous. Uh, Tracy, for number one, for finding that. Number mm -hmm. two, the video that you put out uh, about the book. That was kind of cool. There's a link to that in our Discord. And I know, that's my mistake. And then um, Donnie Shaw hit 1,000, and he did a live stream. Yeah. He got his T-shirt, sent us a picture. We'll show that Saturday. Yeah. Um, Congratulations to Donnie. Yeah, it's... Uh, Cool and stuff. Tracy, that video was awesome. That was amazing. And she has the video she sent us. It she, it's got like a whole bunch of little skeletons around yeah, it's got it. Tiny it's like baby little, little baby Borises. Baby Borises. <laughs> so that was, was kind of cool. cool. Yeah. And Donnie said that he thought while um, the spirit, he thought about the spirit in the boiler house at work when he was in the boiler house. 
um, when it was struck down with labyrinths. So that's kind of cool. And Bottle Caps is in the house. Bottle Caps! So What's Bottle happening? Caps is here saying hello. hello. And Timber Hill Red Bone Coonhounds uh, says bye to Bottle Caps. So I don't know which one of them is headed out. I may have missed that. So make sure you guys uh, join our uh, uh, Discord. Marianne's got that link in there. Yep. And uh, we'll put those pictures out there. And uh, you guys can be the judge. Look at that. Let's let's get a discussion going on there, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think it's really cool that, one, she found it. Fat Ma's Kitchen's two, here. Two, that we Hello. couldn't recreate it again just, like, two days later. Um because that we videotaped that and took those pictures on Sunday, yeah. And then on Tuesday, when you posted it, sh she posted that she saw that. And we went down there um, just a couple hours we went later. Down, yeah, we went down Tuesday when I got home from work, which was only which was about around the same time we were yeah, there on Sunday. Yeah, I say it's so about an hour time off the day, trying to yeah. you know time with the sun reflection and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it was really close. We, yeah. I'd say it's probably about an hour off from the Sunday that uh, time that we took the photos and yeah. video. So that was kind of cool. So we're trying everything we can to debunk those and redo them and see, okay, that's this reflection, that reflection, whatever, which is what we do. Um, but uh, that's some cool stuff right there, folks. Dover, Paratech. All I am seeing are reflections. Reflections of what? What do you think that is reflecting? Because are you seeing the reflections of the trees? <clears throat> and you know, the the longer you look at them, the more stuff you see in it. But well, we that's just, because of your because of your brain trying to trying to find stuff <clears throat> too. You know. Yeah. He said that we reproduce the same time, same weather conditions. Yeah, we just, we said that. Yeah, we it was went about down an, Tuesday. It was like an hour off. Yeah, they might be off in timing But with it was us. the same same yeah. weather conditions. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the weather has not changed here. No, it's hot at and all. sunny. <laughs> yeah. Partly cloudy. Yeah. Uh, but definitely hot. Put it out there. Yeah, we went down and he we tried most, to recreate it. He says he it. sees mostly trees. So <clears throat> that is uh, what we want to see. Is what do, what are you guys thinking? What are you guys um, envisioning here? All right. Uh, <laughs> you're warm. <laughs> Uh, My so anyhow, sticking to me. <laughs> I originally thought it was going to be the the peeling paint. I really thought that's what it was going to be from the, like, thought, the black out of the would, windows. I thought it'd be the clouds. You thought it'd be the clouds. Yeah, but when and then I the thought trees. it would be the peeling paint or the trees. But so Dover Paratech, what what I'm talking about is is that cloudy that cloudiness on that picture. I thought it was the clouds, but when you clarify that, you're actually seeing the trees. Right. Which is, where's that like white puffy part coming from to make it look like a, a face? That's that's the part that's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Donnie says sees one face. I'm interested in which one Donnie sees. We could bring it back up again. Maybe. <laughs> if you didn't close it. <laughs> I don't think I closed it. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, this is this is not the greatest quality because it's not. Do they see your mouse if you like go on on that over here? No. No. No, no. they don't. Um, but you know, you kind of see those trees, but then you see the. I don't know. It's kind of the way those faces are coming in. So there's we see one there, one there. That one's the one I saw. It's like bigger. Mm -hmm. And then that's the first one that you saw. 
Yeah. And then I think just sitting here, we saw another one. Yeah, but that one that you saw kind of reminds me of the gargoyle. That big one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. Um, Dover says at 427, you see the sky. Oh, you're looking at the... The video. The video. Yeah, in the upper window. <coughs> Can you zoom in on it? Says Tracy. Which, like our pictures or the video? I see one in the middle of the left bay window. Okay, so that's the one that I think looks like a cat. Is that the one you're seeing? The one that I think looks like a cat? I don't know if I can zoom in on it. Let me look. I don't know. Nonetheless, whatever, whatever, it's kind of cool. You know, some people like to, to see, like, things like that. Um, I've caught some things that were odd like that in Gettysburg windows um, at night. Um, but other people say that those aren't anything that but reflections or your mind's eye seeing something in there um, because you know people say that about clouds all the time they're like do you see snoopy in the cloud or did you see yeah. you know jesus walking in the cloud or um the man playing the guitar in the cloud <laughs> so it could be something like that too and the more we look at it the more we see but um it is kind of cool now donnie says that that one looks like a face to him i think it looks like a cat but i remember yesterday when i was looking at him tra drawing the circles oh, not, i remembered that? um because it's probably because it's a different picture oh okay um that it so was kind of zoomed in yeah, a little bit more that i could i could see um that it kind of looked like a, a maybe a kid or something like that too uh, it just really depends on how you look at it, what angle you look at. Um, let's see here. It looks. Uh, I can't, Ooh, I can't I tell. Do you know what was on the opposite side of the building? Nothing. The opposite side of the building is not like to the right of that. There's nothing. There's no buildings or anything like that there. There was a. Uh, uh, a truck that was sitting there like a box truck that was sitting pretty far off over there but it was there sitting under the trees and that yeah. was it well actually the opposite side of the building which would have the, been the back like okay the building's the over tracks. there okay and we were shooting this way mm -hmm. behind us are those trees mm -hmm. that you're seeing in that reflection right so that window is not straight. That window is like at a tilt a little bit because if you stand at that angle up to that window, you think you would see the reflection of the sky and you don't mm -hmm. at that angle, mm -hmm. you see actually the reflection of the trees. Right. And like I said, in the Discord, we'll put the other pictures because they're not on the production server. Um, we'll put those other pictures when we went down there and you kind of see that we, you shot around you shot pictures around there like the locations yeah. of things yeah. stuff so budget bushcraft i see a bunch of beautiful people hanging out together and the one face in the window <laughs> that's awesome budget bushcraft um tracy thought it looked like a woman with locks from her phone that's what she thought originally i wish i could draw on the screen but i don't have that kind of technology on here yeah but see what happens when I do this. I'll break it. <laughs> it gets a little smaller. Let's see if I can move that a little bit. Kind of blow it up a little bit. That one's the one that I think looks a little bit like, um, uh, what you call it? Um, That's the Holmes. one I think that sticks out. <laughs> that one looks like gar there. gargoyle to me. Yeah. Farmal fanatic, hello. So anyways, cool stuff. Yeah. So we will we'll have to post some some of the other pictures and the other Yeah, we'll put them in the Discord angles and let you take a look at that. But literally um, to the right of that there's nothing but, you know, a little bit of a parking lot and trees. And then behind that 
um, towards the back of the building uh, is where the train tracks are actually at, which is um, interesting. We, we couldn't go up to the tracks because they had them blocked off, so we couldn't get up there. You'll see in the pictures they had, you know, orange cones, you know, like, don't go up here. So we didn't choose to to do that. We're not, we're not, we're the ones who kind of follow those types of rules. If they don't want us to go there, we don't go there. It's not worth getting in trouble over yeah. and then going to jail and losing yeah. my job. And <laughs> 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 All right, Dover Paratech, thanks for stopping. It's 4 a.m. where he's at. 4 a.m.? Dude. So they're going to head off. Oh, no. 4 a.m. comes quick. They're going to get up up at 4. Oh, they got to get up, getting at up at 4. So um, they thank us for the show, and they thank will catch up later. Thank you for stopping by. by. Thanks hey, we're for gonna your be opinions. Live. We're going to be live again Saturday, live at 5 p.m. Eastern for Let's That's Talk right. Paranormal. That's right. So, so we'll come on see back you then. We don't know what we're doing yet, but uh, we're gearing up, folks. Next yes. two weeks is going to be Lizzie Borden stuff. Lizzie time. So we're gearing up. So I'm getting all excited. I got a video to post in the morning, and then whatever we're going to do Saturday, and you guys be ready. Your mind is going to be blown. <laughs> we have some yeah. awesome stuff and about Lizzie Borden. bottle caps, sorry, but the next recipe is not going to be chocolate chip cookies. The next recipe video is going to be none other than Lizzie Borden's Lizzie, very own. actual, her actual recipe, recipe of meatloaf. Meatloaf. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be really cool. Donnie says it's 3.13 where he's at. 3.13 a.m. You people don't sleep, do you? <laughs> I am. Well, the life of a YouTube person. You I guys never sleep. I haven't slept in the past four days either because of this heat. But. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. What's this budget bushcraft? Did I tell you I was featured in an EVP from an indie paranormal team? Didn't tell me. Didn't he tell you? You just did. That's pretty cool. So was it, um, were you Were you there with them? As good night, a, Dover Paratech. Yeah, good night. Uh, were you there on an investigation with them? Is that how that all worked out? That's pretty cool. Um, and Dover says, well, they'll catch us then. Delays, 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 delays. I know. It's kind of like, then we'll I, I don't want to. Like, yeah, the and then love? we'll start something else, and then it'll pop up, and then I'll interrupt you. And <laughs> But that's pretty cool budget bushcraft. We're pretty excited about that. Um, Donnie says he's working the graveyard, sh graveyard shift. Graveyard shift. <laughs> yes. I love the graveyard shift. Do you, do you, do you know, know where that came from? you know why it's called the graveyard shift? <laughs> She'll tell you. <ya. laughs> Now I'm waiting on everybody to respond to me. <laughs> uh, Budget Bushcraft says, Izzy 247 Paranormal. So we'll have to look into that. Izzy 247. So we're going to call this, and I'm going to change the thumbnail and everything. We're going to call this the Did You Know series. And we could do, I was just thinking about that. We could do Victorian wakes. Mm -hmm. We could do Irish wakes. Mm -hmm. We could do that stuff I keep saying about the uh, symbolism on cemetery, on headstones. Mm -hmm. We could do the thing about the uh, burials and why they call it the graveyard shift and mm -hmm. the, yeah. that kind of stuff. And Yeah, so Budget Bushcraft says that, yes, they were there for a house hunt. That's super awesome. That's super awesome. Very cool. So, Donnie, do you know why they call it the graveyard shift? We're, we won't wait for the delay. We'll just tell you guys. All right. So, back during the our favorite time period, which is the late 1800s, early 1900s. Tracy says she knows from an earlier live stream. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. So, the Spanish uh, flu epidemic and all those things, which one of the... Uh, symptoms of the spanish flu was you thought that the person was dead well there was a lot of people being buried alive okay and that's why they had the victorian wakes and stuff and they would lay out the bodies for a few days if mm -hmm. not longer mm -hmm. uh, to make sure you're actually dead before you buried right. them because 
people would be buried alive and then they would go back and dig up their graves for some sort of exhumation and they open up the uh, coffin and they see claw digging marks. and claw marks. So what they did was is they came up with a system where they put a string or a wire down into the uh, coffin and put a bell on the grave. So if somebody would awake, they could ring that bell. Well, they Saved had by the bell. Saved by the bell. That's where that comes from. But <clears throat> they would hire somebody to work the cemeteries, the graveyard shift, late at night, listening for that bell. Can you imagine having that job, sitting there just listening for a bell to go off, and then you got to go get a shovel and get this person <laughs> out before they suffocate? Yeah. But Yeah, and they also use the those same individuals to keep watch over and make sure that no one just came and dug up bodies yeah, as this, well the, while they had the body right. snatchers going the, on the, uh, grave robbery the uh yeah grave robbery mm -hmm. so, yeah that's where the term graveyard shift came from working yes. all through the night yes yeah so in literally the graveyard sitting watching listening yeah. The and time. sometimes when you see older cemeteries too, and they have those iron cages over top of the the cemeteries, that was to stop the grave robbers because mm -hmm. that person who was buried in there was probably buried with jewelry or something like that. And yeah. Or they so might see, have we just... could do a did you know yeah. about this kind of stuff? Yeah. It doesn't really relate to a location, but it's Not just stuff that we location. know. Yeah. Because we're creepy like that. Yeah. <laughs> what is Boris talking back there? Does his mouth open? Does it open? Yes. It's on a spring. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> so funny enough, while we were talking, Donnie said, did they have bells too? <laughs> yeah. So we answered you already. Indy 247 Paranormal Hamilton House Investigation. I'm the Brian they mentioned in the first video, says Bush at B Budget Bushcraft. Well, she wrote it down. We will I go did. and look that up. Indy. So Indy. Indy 247. All right. Hamilton. Why is his head being cut off? I don't know. Did Boris get taller? I don't know. He's not cut off in this thing, but he's cut off over there. Oh, yeah. wait. Scroll up. Maybe. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> he Never is mind. There. I just want to His head's up not cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Trace says, I'm going to tell my younger sister about the graveyard shift. She loved the show Saved by the Bell with the school kids. My sister loved that show, too. She would watch that faithfully all the time. Well, Saved by the Bell too has a couple meanings you know yeah but also that's one like of them. the boxing you know yeah. saved by the bell and boxing too but the origination actually came from that yeah whole graveyard thing, so. <laughs> she'll never look at it the same way again <laughs> yeah. so true yeah. do you know where that saying come from see that would be another did you know the orientation of sayings yeah would origination cool. what did i say orientation yeah origination <laughs> it's hot <laughs> Hell Kitten says, poor Boris, when you were playing with his little mouth there. I poor Boris. <laughs> oh, goodness. So does anybody else have anything to say uh, uh, or any other thoughts or anything? Because I think uh, Sean's probably quite melted by now. Well, I would like to have the watch time if we could. I could stick oh, it you out. Oh, can, you can handle it? I could stick it out a little bit. A little bit talk longer? about something else. Okay. Not a problem. Anything about gargoyles, you know, since that's what this video is about. Mm -hmm. um, I found it interesting that the B&O one has chains all over it, like chaining it down to the building. Did you notice yeah, that? Yeah, well, it's to keep it from flying away. Right. Yeah. But I thought it was interesting because you <clears throat> usually you don't see And I think those have grotesques, like mm -hmm. what they're called, that one, mm -hmm. those are probably, there's probably duplicates of those, I would assume, because you would buy those somewhere. Could. What, are you worried about this? Yeah. Well, it's not shaking the camera. It's just shaking the table. Okay. <laughs> Remember, we did that. We yeah, did it's probably going to make noise, though. <clears throat> but that's okay. Give the man a break. He's frying. <laughs> okay, Hell Kitten. <laughs> I'll leave him alone. Actually, I'm starting to drip. 
<laughs> I'm melting. I'm melting. I'm melting. Budget book bushcraft. I didn't really notice anything all the while we were sitting in the room, but there's a little girl that responded and creeped me out when I heard it. Well, that's mostly what we get to. Probably about yeah. 80% of the time, it's the recordings. Mm -hmm. You get stuff. But yeah. there's that other 20% that is quite interesting, where you hear stuff or hear voices or hear children running. Yeah, that one's my favorite. One of my favorites. I know. We, I still haven't found that audio. But that that one, that one, Marianne went, hmm. Yeah. Uh, we were in the basement at a location that we were doing. JC Thompson building. And we kept hearing, like, running across the ceiling above us. Yeah, it sounded us. like this. Yeah. And we're like, okay, what's above us? It was a room that was, was rented out. It was yeah, a that business was that was locked. a closed that facility. It was closed for the night. And there was nobody there. And I'm like, I'm going upstairs. I'm going to go ch check in the windows and see if there's anybody in there. And I did. I went upstairs and I looked in the windows and it was pitch dark. And, you know, there was nobody, you know, it, no lights on in it. Nobody, you know, running around. That was kind of an odd thing. So it's one of my favorites that I heard with my own Out of body. Hello. Hello. So they uh, also were talking in there about clowns and oh, growing up with it. the movie It. Yeah. <clears throat> Did anybody see the new movie It? I didn't see the original one or the new one. I don't think I saw the original one either. Some people liked the old one better. Did you hear they're making a new movie about Lizzie Borden? We were kind of men I mentioned that in the live stream the other night. I don't know. It's going to be an interesting one, but you guys will be all set on the facts by the time that comes out because the next two weeks we're doing Lizzie. So uh, you will be able to look at that movie the way I do and go, that's not true. That's not true. That's true. That's correct. <laughs> I can't wait to do that. That'll be pretty awesome. Uh, so we might have to break down and go to the theaters. I don't know. We'll see. Well, we, we didn't usually for, uh, Winchester, Winchester. We waited and all that, but being that we'll have just done the Lizzie stuff, I think some of our fans might want to chat about it. So Maybe. We'll see. All right, budget bushcraft. Ham Hamilton House in Greenfield, Indiana. I wrote that down. We will definitely look into that. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Especially since we now know somebody who's been involved in an EBT there. He read the there. book. Andrew read the book. The it book. It. I Hellkit and I have not seen the new It, but I'm not really interested in it from hearing. It's just not the same. Yeah, remakes tend to do that. So Andrew was telling me earlier that we need to get a TV up there behind the camera with the so chat that we, so, so that, that we we're look up there. The camera <laughs> instead of the top of our heads. Sorry. <laughs> well, I can't see, so I have to put my nose on the. And I don't have my glasses on. If I put my glasses on, so. on, it'd be like glare. Yeah, and I. Oh, you don't have your contacts. I don't have in? my contacts. So both in. of us are yeah, we're going both blind, blind tonight. Great. I didn't have I didn't leave the house today, so I didn't really feel like yeah. it. <laughs> so, yeah. But you're right. My mom says we, we kinda play with our hands too much. Our hands <laughs> Andrew and says we top look of down our heads. we look down too much. <laughs> someday we'll get it right. Then again, someday maybe we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes from Winchester Mansion. That is one of those locations that is on our yeah. bucket list. Did you find out how far that is away from San Diego? Too far. Too far. Yeah, too far. I think I did. Yeah, I think it's too far. Okay. 
Yeah, Budget Bushcraft was saying that he, when he was stationed in California, he was only 15 minutes away from the Winchester house, which was kind of That's what cool. I just said. I know. Oh, that, that's, okay. I was explaining why you said that. There is, like, no breeze at all. No, it's it's pretty still. <laughs> I thought at least there would be a breeze. No, it's, it's pretty still. I can feel that it's cooler outside, but I'll just take off all my clothes and run up and down the neighborhood and cool off. I'm sure the neighbors would love that. <clears throat> I'm sure they would quite appreciate it. So you used to go there um, all the time. It's a pretty expensive tour, he says, Budget Bushcraft said. It'd be cool if they let you explore it on your own, but they might lose a few people. <laughs> they say you get all twisted and turned around in there. And if you stray from the tour, you'll get lost probably. So they try to keep you pretty pretty closely packed together so that you don't get lost. But I would love to be able to just kind of hey, tag on the end of the um, tour. And <laughs> Budget book Bushcraft, we were subscribed to you before, and I just checked. I'm checking everybody's in here because we've lost a bunch of channels that we were subscribed to. I'm just checking you guys to make sure. Yeah, I know we've we still been... are. Budget Bushcraft. We watched we were, some of your yeah. videos before, and of course, we lost the subscription too. So I just hooked it back up. Resubscribed. Resubscribed. I don't know what the deal is, why they do that, but. Budget Bushcraft says they think it was about twenty dollars a person for the tour. That's actually pretty standard I think for most of the tours. Gettysburg tours seem to be the cheapest that I've seen anywhere but they get a lot of traffic um, Denver was expensive. I Denver think. was kind of I think they were about 20 or $25 the thing though, a piece The thing though, $20, like to take a tour, okay so like the, the historical type tours Yeah, like the Christmas Story house uh, it was it was a little expensive too. Yeah, but for that, that house anyway. But that money goes to, to the, the maintenance and restoration of the house. So I don't mind paying that. Yeah. I mean, look at Mansfield. Yeah, it's not cheap. No, definitely not. But that's the society, the preservation society, that's right. running that, and they're running it as a fundraiser. So it's to maintain the building. You know. So. Yeah. Some of them get to be pretty outrageous, though. Like yeah, when they do it, 50, just to, when you when you pay twenty, yeah, if you pay twenty dollars to go do a tour that of a building that's falling down, they're just doing it to make the money off of it. And I'm yeah, yeah. Craziest thing I ever saw: stairs up to nowhere, doors in the floor. That twenty bucks was back in the eighties. So it actually, I wonder what the it's probably thirty five. Yeah, the price of the tour 35, is now. Thirty five, forty now. Yeah, that probably <clears throat> was kind of expensive back then. But though, look how much Disney charges. I'd rather go to like the Winchester House than Disney, but that's just that's me. That's true. That's true. Disney is what ninety nine dollars no, a day or crazy. something like that. But you know, which I don't understand how how so many people now they're charging extra to park and charging extra to yeah and they're getting rid of the haunted mansion I what's know. up with that i think we'll have to boycott disney they closed down the haunted mansion <laughs> well i heard it's we'll a, i disney heard it's though. pretty official yeah which is sad well that ride kept breaking down all the time it's probably because it's so haunted And then that leads to will the next thing that gets built there be a haunted attraction then because of the location? Because they're planning on taking that, that out. That was the one in Florida. Though, yeah, right? it's the one in Florida. Yeah, they're keeping the one in California. Uh, from what I understand, <clears throat> don't quote me on it though. I'm not too up on that. I think Disney cost me a marriage. Well, that's quite expensive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tracy not a fan of Disney well one of the locations that we have coming up we were actually supposed to do it be right before Gettysburg mm -hmm. and then something got bumped because we did something else 
but Disneyland in California is actually going to be one of the locations. So um, maybe you'll like Disney after that. Yeah, you never know. It's definitely, we got some interesting stuff about Disneyland. The, there's a lot of reports there. And here's the thing about Disneyland, the potential for the haunting. Why A lot of people, they catch a lot of people dumping ashes. Yes, they do. A lot. <laughs> a lot. All over. And then there's been employee accidents, but that, you know, with deaths and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, that's going to be an interesting week when we do that. So, yeah. we actually were, we were going to try to do a collab with ATGH Travels and everything kind of fell through with Gettysburg Week and stuff. So. We'll have to try to yeah. piece it back together. <laughs> wow, everybody's dissing on Disney, Disney now. The poor poor, mouse. poor Mickey. Oh, no, I feel bad. <laughs> What's really funny is Boris tweeted a picture uh I think it was yesterday, uh, and it was a Mickey Mouse one where Mickey it was one of those little video gif videos, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was of a skeletons, you know, and uh Mickey was going upstairs and as he did, he came up, uh skeletons came out of the bottoms of the stairs and then they pushed him over and he was slid all the way down it's kind of funny that we bring that up then tonight yeah. <laughs> that was boris's tweet yesterday yeah disney is a little uh greedy i i don't understand why as well, much money they make it should be free to get they do the make a lot of money but at the same time they spend a lot of money too like i yeah. will i will I know it's very expensive, but I'm going to back Disney. I'll play that that other side of the coin the here. The devil's advocate. The devil's advocate. Because Which happens a lot around here, folks. It does. It does. But it, look at how, how much they do in each of those parks. There's so many employees. Like, can you imagine having a business? The payroll alone for all those people to, to be there. And then you've got to maintain the facilities and keep everything working and going 24 hours a day because they have sometimes when they have night events uh, and then they clean up at night. So literally you have tw employees 24 hours a day. And then the back end of these places, I was on the back end of Disney in Florida, in, D in Disney World, because when I was in high school, I went there for the Magic Music Days and just the the whole back place is just amazing too and got to follow the yellow line so that you don't get lost and everything because there's such an immensity and I love I love still when we went there on our honeymoon I'm like sweetheart see that tree over there that's yeah. really a door to the back rooms I know how to get in there <laughs> honeymoon cruise and trips to Disney seven times in 11 years and three kids and obsession taking the three kids and lies about my yeah yeah I can see why it costs you your marriage <laughs> yeah 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 Disney is uh Disney California is uh there's a lot of reports there. Yeah. So that's going to be one of our locations. And opening day was quite interesting, too. That's going to be the midweek video. We're going to yeah. talk about opening day. There were some serious so, stuff that happened on opening serious day. Serious <laughs> flaws. Amazing that he what was able to bounce back from yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Oh, that's good that you get along now, Budget Bushcraft. That's awesome. And Tracy was bored at Disney. You know what? We were kind of too when we went as adults. We didn't have kids, but we did some stuff that was kind of fun. You know, I like MGM mm -hmm. in in Florida, and I like Epcot going to the. I like Epcot to the cities, but the Magic Kingdom, eh, whatever. You do it once, it's like, eh, okay. Well, there's Mickey, eh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as an adult. But if you go there as an adult and take kids, I think it would be a lot different. Yeah, but the two of us, we were kind of like, eh, whatever. We did the Disney thing. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, and when we went to Disney in California... Your you, sister my was, sister, was the little yeah, kid. Yeah, my she's, sister was the little kid, so we were like... obsessed with Disney. Yeah, she was an adult, but she's obsessed with Disney, so she, she kept things hopping there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. All right. So what else you got? Anything else you want to mention? No, not really. Just the Lizzie Borden week coming up. We're going to start yeah, on that actually next. We're a i got to edit a video tonight to be come out in the morning, uh, the wrap-up B&O. And then uh, I don't know what we're going to do Saturday. Yeah. For, we're for actually Saturday. about a week off from when we originally planned to have the Lizzie stuff. Because I originally wanted to have it for the week of the 4th. Because well, I wanted the to wait until we hit the 4,000 hours. You wanted to wait 4,000 hours. I wanted happen. it to do it August 4th. So we're going to do it right in between both of them. That's like our give yeah. and take. So she had to find Boris on Twitter. I wonder if we should put Boris's Twitter in our descriptions. Because it is Boris GSF. I keep yeah. forgetting when is I do the ghost stories folklore. Ghost stories and folklore. folklore. GSF, ghost stories folklore. Yeah. I keep forgetting to put, ask Boris a question in the, in that video. Mm -hmm. I get it all done and it's like late at night and it, because we post at 7.30 in the morning now and I get them done the night before. I'm not ahead. I wanted to get ahead during the summer. It didn't happen. But um, I keep forgetting to put the follow ask Boris on Twitter the mm -hmm. address so maybe I need to start putting that in the descriptions Boris's Twitter there you go there you go uh, Christine says that you can borrow Andrew's kids to take them to Disney <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm sure we could <laughs> yeah. and Tracy says that she enjoyed SeaWorld and Kennedy Space Center better and I agree I I mean, I'm, Who said that? Tracy. Uh, I love those as well. Uh, and if you enjoyed Basic SeaWorld, you would love Discover Discovery Cove. Cove. Discovery Cove. It's next it's to SeaWorld. It's super expensive. It's owned by SeaWorld. But it's awesome. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That's what we did. And we did SeaWorld too. Yeah. But uh, Discovery Cove, I would do that again in a heartbeat. You pay this horrible fee and you got to be there real early in the morning mm -hmm. but that's all you pay is that fee to get in there and you're there all day you don't have to buy food you don't have to buy anything you just walk up to the food stands when you're hungry and say give me a hamburger and it, there you go it's all covered you don't have to carry money because they don't want you to carry money because the whole thing is is i don't know what would you call that is it like an open aquarium that you get to swim with the dolphins and swim with the stingrays and uh, you get to go through snorkeling. It's like... They have a giant lazy river. They have an the, aviary. It's... Yeah, so they don't want you yeah. to carry metal and money and anything like that. You actually put your stuff in lockers mm -hmm. and you just have a locker key that is environmental friendly that you carry with you. And, and they then, have and they have a specialty... Uh, uh, sunscreen yeah, special that lotion is special so that it doesn't that they harm they the, give that the animals yeah. in the water um, of the sea animals they give it to you when but you, you get have there. to be there real early in the morning so that you can and i think we got there like really early to schedule your time to swim with the dolphins yeah because you you can't do that ahead of time you get there and it's, it's like a first come first serve. <clears throat> She's asking where is it? It is in Orlando. It's in Orlando. It's right next to SeaWorld yeah. in Orlando. It's called Discovery Cove. And we got to swim with the dolphins and that mm -hmm. was that was pretty cool. Yeah. It was one of the things on my bucket list was to swim with dolphins and to swim with sharks. So I got to swim with the dolphins and then stingrays as well, but um see i'm gonna get you the link for discovery cove by the way actually you know what yeah put that link in i'm gonna bring mm -hmm. up the web page yeah it's just discovery cove isn't it discoverycove.com slash orlando uh let's see here oh there's a breeze oh <laughs> Budget Bushcraft says that he's hoping to get some EVPs when he's next to Yankee. He feels like he's going to hear some drums or something. Budget Bushcraft, where, where, are, you where at? are you at? Because we're on the opposite side of the state of Yankee. Yes. 
Yeah, we're on the... We're in Ohio, but we're northeast. in northeast Ohio. Yeah. All right, what screen is that? You're welcome, Tracy. Um, and it yeah, was kind of cool out. when. There's audio. You probably didn't have. It's acting up. We're losing audio when we switch, switch over, over that. Um, but they had a whole thing on how they prepared and helped um, settle the animals and what they were doing and how they were um, preparing for the hurricane to come through. And that was pretty cool. I ended up using some of their, their stuff for a project for my kids um, based on, on preparations that they were making there at Discovery Cove and also at Discovery Cove. Very, very cool stuff over there. Mm -hmm. Irish Whiskey says this AC is way too cold over here right now. <laughs> and Bunch Rub of Bushcraft in. says that they're in Indianapolis. Oh, okay. So you're the opposite yeah. on the other side of Yankee. Mm -hmm. And Tracy says no sound. He's playing with that. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not going to play with OBS too much because last time I did that, it crashed. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's all right. All right. So uh, Dipper Dudes has joined us. Hello, hello. Manchester, UK. And Dilia's Guffies must be in the house as well. Because when I went to say hi to Dipper, Dilia came up. So, welcome to uh, you guys. Uh, Budget Bushcraft, I've been there eight times. Is that to, to uh, Discovery Cove? Or someplace else? There we go. Yeah, so this is Discovery Cove. I mean, look at that. This, these are people swimming in here. And, um, you know, you're in there with the fish. Yeah, right here the on the by the pier on the left there you see that thing that looks like a shark fin coming out of the water that's actually a stingray um one of the stingray flippers and the stingray pole is cool i mean they take the stingers out of the stingray so you don't get <coughs> trouble but they just come up by you and they go around your legs and everything mm -hmm. and yeah yeah it's cool yeah and they have different areas now this uh, and picture some of, them of go this really dolphin deep. is not realistic. That's a tiny little baby dolphin. Yeah. That's a little tiny little baby. The dolphins that you get to swim with are freaking huge. Yeah. <laughs> they are, man. And, and what's They're really a little scary. They, they'll come right up to you, too. And, you know, you can pet them and stuff. But if those things, like, flip out, they will knock you over. Yeah. They're huge. But it is it is expensive. It's very expensive. But pretty much everything is free when you go in there, except the gift shop, of course, and the pictures, if you get a picture taken <clears> with the dolphin or whatever. But they feed you all the food there is free for you all day. Yeah, you just go up to the things anytime yeah, and you want. They pull out these little carts and bring you like hot pretzels and cinnamon rings and whatever. It was really Now that pool right there where they're swimming, that's all like tropical fish down below you there you could snorkel that is that yeah that's that one there's there's one it's super deep and it's super cold the water's really really that's cold that one. That's this is that the one. one yeah um and it was just super awesome like i went down pretty far down in the water and the stingray that was hanging out down there it was so big it was like three times my size like uh you know it was just huge and I was like, oh, my gosh, that thing could eat me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is actually just like a theme park. I mean, it's in Orlando right next to uh, um, SeaWorld. Yeah. You can actually go there. Yeah. So Budget Bushcraft said that, yes, he's been to Discovery Cove that many times. That's awesome. Uh, and then says that um, 
Yankee and he are meeting Inspire John uh, at the exact longitudinal and latitudinal coordinates. Oh, Yankee sent him coordinates to, to meet him at. That's kind of cool. That does sound just like Yankee. So, you're getting quiet over there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I was reading. The oh, you chat. were reading the chat. I just finished chat. reading the chat. So, Dipper dudes. That's right, Dipper dudes. Check out Dipper dudes. And Tracy hasn't been down to that area since the mid '80s. You need to get over there. There's a lot of haunted locations in Florida, Tracy. Yeah, Tracy, if you head down there, on the way, if you drive down, you're pretty close to St. Augustine. <laughs> you happen to have a tour book now. <laughs> Although I don't know if I drive that again. I'm, I'm so used to flying. Yeah. Yeah, it's takes forever to drive. Just flying to Orlando, we could be there in two hours. Yeah, it, t it takes half the day. Uh, well, we got to try you... Jacksonville if we go to St. Augustine because it's closer. It's an hour yeah. from Jacksonville. Yeah, we've never done that. We've never yeah. flown in the St. Augustine area. We've flown into the Orlando area a couple times, but we haven't flown into anywhere near St. Augustine. Mm -hmm. We usually uh, we fly into Orlando, do some stuff around there, and then we drive up to St. Augustine. We rent a car if we go. Yeah, Yankees, Yankees uh, sunsets, those are awesome. The views are just breathtaking. Cool. Yeah. 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 Big T Coins is originally from Florida. That's pretty cool. Says that yes, there's a lot of haunted locations there. <laughs> yeah, it seems like everywhere in Florida has something. You know what I mean? It's not like one area. It's like oh, okay, there's a lot here, and there's a lot here, and there's a lot here. It's like the whole state has places. Mm -hmm. Although I guess there's a lot of places gonna... in a lot of states, but it seems <clears throat> to me that there is a overabundance in Florida. Well, it's the first city was in Florida. Yeah. My ice melted, like, a long time ago. Oh, yeah, mine did, too. It's like drinking bath water. Yeah, that's cool. So about ten more minutes. Ten minutes? Yep. <clears throat> okay. All right, so stuff we've got coming up with Lizzie thing next Thursday. Actually, this Thursday coming up, we're going to do a Behind the Haunting. Right? Correct? We are. Um... It's my first day back to work, and like officially, where I officially have to report, and we're going to be up late doing that. It's going to be crazy. But you're off Friday. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. You just go back Thursday, then you're off Friday. Yeah, but I probably will go in Friday anyway, just because that's me. But Then you got a long day Monday. Long day Monday. Yeah, that's yeah. a 12, 14 hour day. Yeah, we have... Uh, work and then we have open houses and it's crazy are you watching chat or are you playing on ebay well i forgot to buy my other ebay item while we've been in the stream so i missed another one there were 10 minutes when you gave me a dirty look a while ago and i forgot to go back i keep screwing up and missing those i can't miss that tomorrow so i gotta get i gotta make that one happen uh la 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 big t my mom's house was inhabited by dad's spirit until she passed away a few months ago so they must be reunited and moved on together 
We do have a fan, Tracy, but it's in the living room. <laughs> yeah, and on the other side about, of the house. We thought about bringing it in here, but you guys would hear the fan. It and you would, wouldn't uh, hear us. You wouldn't hear us. It'd That's be what too we thought noisy. anyway. Our microphone, which you guys don't normally see, if you notice, we don't wear headphones. We have a Yeti. We have a real nice, I actually got two of these. It's a Yeti microphone, so it's like a condenser mic that picks us up, but it picks up everything. That's why you guys hear the crickets and hear the yeah. frogs when they're going yeah. and stuff like that. So, the so fan that would fan be... would definitely be very noisy in here. Yeah, so. as we actually did talk about it right before we did the show. For the quality of the production, <laughs> I am sacrificing and sweating it out, but... <clears throat> What's that? I think I got Lizzie's axe off Amazon, nearly took my finger off. <laughs> so you bought an axe on Amazon, huh? It was pretty sharp, budget bushcraft. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that. They don't know the, which uh, hatchet actually did the dastardly deed. We'll talk about that. Don't give too much away. We'll be talking about that this, this coming up week. Yeah, because there's several of them. Yeah. They do. They do have one on. They do have one on display at the historical society. But is that the real one? Yeah. It will be something we will talk about. There. Let's just throw this out there, okay? There are several hatchets that have human blood on them. Whoa! The Lizzie story just got interesting. But not the one that's at the historical society. Not the one that they think was theirs. It doesn't have human blood. Yeah. Yeah. So that will be coming up this week. I can't remember if I put that EVP out there. No, I didn't. I have an EVP about the Lizzie House I need to put out there. One that freaked me out. That is why it's not out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I and need to put that and out I, there. You know, to be we'll honest, to re- how am I going to release that? I'll have to figure that one out. I don't know. It's it's not really as creepy. It freaked you out because you listened to it while you were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you knew you had to sleep there then. Well, I it think that's like what, she was standing I think right that's behind what, me. I think that's what creeped you out more than anything because we've heard other stuff on EVPs that's probably just as weird or or creepy and it didn't bother you i think it bothered you because you knew holy crap i gotta sleep here now <laughs> true and there was a little bit of sleep deprivation when i played that back and then like yeah i'm sleeping in this house and i just proved that there's something going on here you freaking moron why did you play that back yeah we'll talk about that stuff that stuff's coming up but... yeah tracy called me a big tease <laughs> See, we're teasing you guys to come That's right. back. We want to get you to come back. Come back and listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In fact, I just purchased a new book today on Lizzie. Of course you did. I have like, I don't know how many, but I just bought another one uh, that says it has new evidence. So I'm interested in, in seeing what it has to say. I bought the the digital version and the and the paper version. We have version. so much stuff on Lizzie Borden, and in fact, maybe yeah. if our air conditioner is working, when we do behind the haunting, she might make an appearance Ooh. for the behind the haunting. But I thought we about have that so too. So much on Lizzie Borden that we're doing two weeks, two weeks yeah. related to Lizzie Borden. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know if, if that's, that's going to be, be enough. enough. Yeah, it may go three. Well. Yeah, or, you know, something Or come back at a later time. Because, or, yeah, because yeah. there's the one week we're going to do this cemetery and the um, Maple, Maple Croft, Croft, which is for sale. Um, again. Again. Yeah, I and, know. Uh, so the Lizzie house may have to go two weeks and then do that one the third week. I don't know. I'm still working it out on paper. But yeah. there's so much. Because since we have so much and there's so much about the cases and stuff, those videos could be huge. We are doing some live streams about it, but. Hmm. Yeah, um, the Maplecroft building, yeah, you mentioned that is for sale again. I, I did see that. Uh, it's been on sale, I think, for a, close to a year now. Um, 
pretty sad. They were going to open that up as a bed and breakfast as well. Yeah. And it didn't work out. Uh, I don't want to give away more because I have more little tidbits in that. I'm, I'm She's like, getting excited. I, mm, I don't want to say it because they'll they'll ruin next week, but you know, or the week after, or whenever, because that's two weeks for now at least for that one. But uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to keep in some of these these little tidbits. Trying desperately. Trying desperately. Benjamin Chavez, how you doing? Chris Mohan's Chris. here. Chris! Holy cow, it's been a while. Yeah. It's nice to see you. Um, Budget Bushcraft said that his hand will never be the same. So he he's pretty serious about almost, pretty much losing, almost losing his finger on that uh, axe that he got. Crazy. So, so uh, I got a little story for you about an axe. Budget bushcraft. Do I know it? Yeah, you know it. Okay. You were with me. Okay. So we put on a uh, murder mystery that was related oh. to... Um, <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. We put on a murder mystery that's related to Lizzie Borden. And basically, the way it was written was it was the retrial of Lizzie Borden. Right. And um, it's actually kind of cool. I think Andrew was there. Andrew came as a guest, and Chris Mohan actually played the judge. Chris Mohan played the judge. Yeah. So, anyways, um, Mary Ann played Lizzie, and we needed a prop. We needed a hatchet. Yeah. So we go down to uh, I can say the name right, Harbor Freight. Yeah. I guess you just I, did. I, I just said it, so I don't care. Yeah. Whatever. We're not sponsored by Hard Freight in any way whatsoever, <laughs> but if they would like to call us. Same thing with Disney. Yeah, same thing with Walt Disney. At any time, you can get a hold of us and we can negotiate any type of sponsorship. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we go, to, go down to Home Depot, and we're just, you know, I'm in a bubbly, happy mood, and I'm joking around with the guy. And uh, I said, we need this for a prop. And he was he like, freaked out and didn't want to sell really it to offended. Us. We were buying tools as prop, not using them for their original intention. And I'm like, are you freaking serious, dude? Just sell me a hatchet and I'll get out of here. I don't think we've been back since, have we? Uh, yeah, we have. Yeah, I have several have. times. <laughs> yeah, it's like giving me this attitude because we're buying this hatchet as a prop and not as a tool. Yeah. Which, I don't know where that's at. Do you? Oh, I know right where it's oh, at. Oh, you know. Yeah, it's right under my bed in case you kind of get out of line. <laughs> it's on the shelf with our, our um, travel totes for well, locations. Which, that's going to be an awesome picture we use for the thumbnail. Yes. One of your boots. Yes. I, yeah. I saw it today, actually. Okay. Yeah. It's a pretty cool one. Yeah, Chris was there. Chris played the judge. Yep. Was that, that was your first acting experience with this, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah, he had yeah. been uh, did a great job part of the crew before, but he had never gone and did an acting job until then. It was pretty awesome. So, I played Lizzie, and I loved every minute of it. I know you did. <laughs> <Great. laughs> it was awesome. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I don't know if it's like your side or our side, but this chat's like really slow. Are you yeah. guys sleeping? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. We actually did that one <laughs> twice. Two days in a row. Wasn't it two days How in a row? How many people saying is in the thing? Uh, wasn't it two days in a row we did that? 11 people still here, but the chat's just like, dink, dink. I've been in some rooms and you can't even read it. They're going so fast. Ours are like, ink, ink, <laughs> ink. When's Chris the next murder the mystery ways. dinner? Shut your mouth, Chris. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know. He's 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 still on a hiatus from that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say it's after our YouTube channel is monetized. <laughs> I've been working on that pretty heavy. <laughs> 
Actually, you know what? We got friends here. These guys have been with us. Almost everyone here has been with us the whole time. It's given us watch time. Oh. Should we tell them about the October project? Um, well, it's not Actually, really 100% we need worked to, out yet. Yeah, but we need... We need a we couple need, more. We need to talk with some people. Maybe Tracy, maybe you can help us out with this. Mm -hmm. I will send you a, one of those little personal chats through YouTube and let Tracy know because I want to ask some questions because we have to keep it we have a tendency to get a little dark <laughs> is that the proper word and I don't want to get too dark on YouTube and get people in trouble but we're working on a project for Halloween that will let's just say maybe bring our production quality of murder mysteries to YouTube can I put it that way? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Which would be pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, Chris said uh, he thought we did that Lizzie one once at Hillview and once at Halliday's, and that is correct. I was just questioning, was it t two days back to back? I can't remember that. Was it back to back? I or think was it was, it no, it was two weeks. Two weekends. Two weekends. Two weekends. Yeah, because we had to move everything. Yeah. The one at Holidays, when we did it there, um, the person who figured it out and won the prize didn't want the prize because <laughs> they were creeped out by the prize. <laughs> I forget what it was. It was some Hillview, or Hillview, it was some brick dust from the Lizzie Borden house. Which, do we have any more of that? Yes, we do. Yes, we are. <laughs> Don't you worry. But uh, yeah, so um, I, I had it. I had to like talk her into taking <laughs> the gift because she's like, oh, uh, she, she creeped up. She was creeped out by the whole idea. Now our fans here would never be creeped out by that. No, they'd be all over it. How would you guys like to win some brisk brick dust from the Lizzie Borden house? Yeah, it's it's back here waiting. Where? It's in this package right here. I always put it back in the package. Well, we have it right here. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to unwrap the whole thing. What the are you doing? We have two, right? We have one in our, our packaging out in the... So, stuff. it is... A, does this go with it? Uh, is this it ours? was ours, but... So... That tells you it comes from the Lizzie Borden bed and breakfast. That's actual brick dust from the Lizzie Borden house. Guess what, folks? Not this Saturday, the following Saturday. That might just be the giveaway mm -hmm. on Let's Talk Paranormal. Mm -hmm. You can actually have a piece of the Lizzie Borden house. Yeah, some of the brick dust. In fact, uh, because of this, uh, we got a couple of haunted locations to start giving some of this stuff to their gift shops. That's where you get the idea. That's where I got the idea. And so I passed that on to two of the local uh, haunted locations, and they are now doing that. So Tracy says, uh, I honestly want to see Marianne play Lizzie. I can make that oh, happen. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Keep reading because it gets Keep funnier. Keep reading. It gets funnier. Look how excited she gets. <laughs> she does it a little too well. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> so Big T mm. Coins, if you never joined our Saturday live shows, every time we do our Let's Talk Paranormal, which is every Saturday live at 5, that's a scheduled live stream every Saturday. Mm -hmm. This one tonight is kind of like thrown in. We don't do live streams on Thursdays. We only do them every now and again yeah. on Thursdays. Occasionally yeah. we'll, we'll throw these in. Um, but Saturdays is every Saturday 5 p.m. Eastern. But every time we go live on that we give something away. We give away t-shirts, give away our book, we give away our coloring book, we give away ghosts or pieces of places that we've been to. Like we did a whole Gettysburg stuff, pieces from Gettysburg and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday is going to be Lizzie Borden themed. And 
that yeah. probably going to be the giveaway. It will so. be. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh my gosh. So when Budget Bushcraft uh, cut his finger, he was trying to man up a friend of his at his new fire pit and he slipped and all he could do was gripe that he was bleeding all over his new concrete. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Tracy says, I'm sure my hubby would want me to enter the contest. I am sure he would enter away. <laughs> so I, I, it's hard to tell in chat. Are you being sarcastic or is hubby into this kind of stuff? <laughs> Well, she didn't put LOL. Usually, if it, she's being sarcastic, she puts LOL. Jeez, I have two coin streams every Saturday. Well, we two. have one stream, 5 yeah. p.m. Eastern. Yeah. But here's the thing. If you can't catch the live stream... You can always watch the replay. Yeah, you can watch the replay, the replay and then it, it, you have all week to enter. So... Yes. Yeah, we... We, when we do it, we don't give it away that day. Yeah, we, we give don't it away do it on the, the, following, day. We do it the week. following week. You send but you an have email to catch in. in the live stream what you have to do to enter to right. win it. Right. That's the only thing. And you don't have to watch the whole thing. Just find out how to enter it. If you can't catch us live, that's not a big deal. Unless you're know. really interested once in the topic. Hit, once we hit the 4,000 hours, I love you guys watching our videos. That's great. That's awesome. But, you know, once we hit the 4,000 hours, if you can't catch us live, can't catch us live. Oh, my gosh. I'm just saying. I, I don't want wow. people to feel bad that they can't come to our live streams yeah. because you can't. You can always you, you watch the You have all replays. week yeah. to enter until we set the, the show up, the following show, and we'll right. pull everyone's names. Because yeah. we have had people enter to win during the, the replay. Yes. Yeah. Which is fine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's the point I was trying to make. Okay. When we originally started doing the giveaways every Saturday, it was getting people to come to the live streams right. and to subscribe to our channel. Right. So the point I'm trying to make is you can do it during the replays. Okay. So I didn't mean I don't want you watching my videos. I don't, I'm sorry. It's hot. I mean, my eyes are sweating. <laughs> Your eyes are sweating. Oh. Uh, Tracy says that her husband is into it. So cool. that's pretty cool. And Big T Coins thinks it's cool that he can watch the replays and, yeah. and enter that way. And some of them are pretty, you know, they're they're pretty interesting. You know, we do do play sometimes games, we play games, and but sometimes you might not want to watch the game. But you know, a topic like yeah. we did at the beginning of this one, we talked about the gargoyles. Like last week, we talked about the lawsuit over the theme song for. Uh, Ghostbusters. Yeah, that that segment of it actually was really quite yeah, short. It was like, it was done, like but sorry, we can't show you any of the videos that kind of talk about this because of copyright, you know. But you can go out and look at it and come back and tell us what you think. Yeah, it has been, and that's budget bush. That's why we we're trying to get the Discord thing going and. Uh, why don't you post a link to our Discord again? Um, because of this notification Not that thing, discovery code. <laughs> um, you know that's what we have a Discord too. I'm sure you're probably in Michael's, but we have one too, so that we could post when yeah. we do this. Now I will tell you guys this: everyone who's here, not well, yeah, next Thursday, a week from today, we're going to do a behind the haunting. Yes, Thursday the sixteenth, I believe it is. Yes. Yeah. We'll have a Thursday night behind the haunting. Did we discuss 9 o'clock? We discussed 9 o'clock. Because that one's probably going to go a while. It might go a while because there's a lot of theories and things like that. I don't know. I mean, we discussed that we would bring it on earlier because it could go pretty late into the night. Um, yeah. But we haven't really. Day, so. But we haven't really checked out to see when uh, Pusha is coming back for their like everyday thing because I wouldn't want to hurt them. Not that we would get, not that we could hurt them that bad. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I like, I, you know, I would not want to jump on their stream. So we might do, we might stay at the 10. We have to discuss it yet. Well, they don't start at 10. No, they start at 8 usually. Oh, you mean we do it after their stream? Yeah. 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 We'll see when they 
are coming back full full schedule. They haven't come back full schedule yet. All right, have a good night out of body. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate yes. it. Yeah. Awesome seeing you. Absolutely. And budget bushcraft. There's no ability to save change to be notified every time. It takes forever to see the ones he can. Yeah, I used to like log in and see like a whole bunch of live streams. It would say, oh, this person's live and this person's live. And I don't see too much of that anymore unless I specifically go to their pages. Yeah, so. they keep messing with it. Unless you kind of like know a schedule. Yeah. You know, and, and I set this up yesterday or the day before. So, and it was out on our channel. It was out on the channel. So, I don't know. Tracy, did you get the half hour ahead of time notification on this? Normally she tells me, lets me know whether that went out. Um, so, it was sitting out there. Why it didn't tell people? I don't know. I give up. It happens. <laughs> we'll, we'll just go yeah. with the flow. It's, you know, it's not 100% science. And I'm sure everybody out there is competing in... Yeah. A half hour after we started, they get the notification. Where yeah. it should have been a half hour before we started. Right. Yeah. But, like, hopefully that changes once we get monetized. Or partner verified. Because I don't care about the money. It's once we become, potentially, we could run ads. Mm -hmm. But maybe it'll give us a little bit more. So, see, Tracy got the notification, but... Was it Budget Bushcraft that said to get notified a half hour afterwards? Uh, I can't remember who said that. It might have been. It might have been. <clears throat> Budget Bushcraft said that uh, he's going to say hi. Uh, he's got 511 subs now. He's going to say hi to us next time he does that. Um, and he won't cry this time. <laughs> It does feel good to hit those yeah those, those mile milestones. Yeah, I think I I think I shed a tear when we hit a thousand. Yeah, I you think were, I did. You were so excited. I was. That yeah. was because when you set those goals for yourself and and, and you, you meet them, you hit them, and it was so hard for us to break a thousand. It was so hard. We'd get like the nine eighty, and then we would lose subs. It goes back down to nine sixty, then it'll go back <laughs> up to nine eighty three, and then we would lose subs. It, it kept doing that for like, man, it, it seemed like almost a month. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? And I go and I check it the next day. We lost ten subs. Oh, really? And then we gained more, and then, and then once we hit it, I'm like. Wow, and I think we were on Michael's stream. When I we think hit we 1, were 000. on Michael Ferris' stream. Yeah, that was like making the 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 thousand thank you. I I shed a couple of tears, and I've watched that over and over. I know you don't like it, but that was a big thing for me because I've been working on this hard since I November. Know. You really have. <clears throat> yeah. Tracy wants to know what company says about our studio when they come over. Uh, nothing, because nobody comes over. Yeah, we very <laughs> seldom get company. Nobody we, comes to visit. Yeah, we See, go here's the places. thing when you don't have children. Yeah. Okay, and you're the aunt and uncle. We go to their house. It's like, there's a party. We go, go to go grandma's there. house. We, we go gotta... to grandma's house. <laughs> we go to there. We do, we're the ones going there. When we first got married, maybe the first three to five years... We people come over here, here. We have picnics and stuff like that, and then it started dwindling down where only a couple of people would show up, so we quit doing it. We had Christmas here a couple of times. We really kind of shut it off after we had the flood in the basement. Yeah, yeah. And we then did. and then everybody else was doing it, so we just said, eh, "It's fine." Let's it's just, just do easier it to go to their house. Yeah. So we very seldom get company. Sometimes Andrew will come over, or you know, some friends will come over, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Very seldom do we get But I will say company. but I will say that one time before it became the studio when it was my fossil room. Are you gonna tell them about the police? Yeah. When it was my <laughs> fossil room and it had, you know, dead carcasses basically everywhere. It has, you know, skeleton bones of different animals and pelts and, you know, all kinds of just 
weird stuff. You know, we had one night in the middle of the night we were sleeping and we woke up to the alarm going off. And uh, so we had the police came and uh, they were checking all of our doors and entrances and everything. And they're like, you guys are sure like, you know, we were sleeping and they're like, OK, well, we're going to check it, the whole house, make sure everything's good. And Did you tell them about the room came, next door with the houses. No. And they came down well, the stop hall. Stop before you tell them that, because this this room was the creepy. We called it the dead things room. <laughs> so we have a three bedroom ranch. Okay, yeah. we got our bedroom. Yeah. And then this room was the dead things room, and then the room across the hall. Marianne has a collection of over two hundred and eighty of those Christmas Dick and Bale houses. houses. So that room was set up with that village. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead, finish finish your story. So the guy comes. The down. alarm. We had alarm drop. Yeah, the, and the police, the police came. came. So the police are coming down the hall. They're checking. You know, they got their their you know guns and they got their flashlights and everything, and they're checking things out. They come down the hall. They checked our bedroom. Okay, no big deal. They go down the hall, and these two rooms we always kept the doors closed. So they open the one room. They go in the Dick and Vale room, and they're like, "What the hell?" What? <laughs> Then they open this room and they're like, and they're so loud. We're standing <laughs> out in the driveway. And we hear them. We, what the hell? <laughs> then they come over here and the guy had to call the yeah, other he's police like, officer. You so, have to so come. So you got to come see this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what did they find? Who's in my house? Is did something happen? And it turned out that they were just like, I can't believe that someone has this <laughs> in their house. <laughs> yeah, so we freaked out the Youngstown Police Department a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, and when we had the flood... I apologized. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My wife's a creep. Uh, and when we had the flood, we had a, a box of bones in the basement oh, that I had God, yes. um, from a cow that a friend of ours had, had given to us. <laughs> <laughs> and, but they needed but they needed cleaned in that they weren't ready for display and so when the flood happened we had a company come in luckily it was a company who the our the owners were our friends and they came and their people were like going through stuff in the basement throwing out what they thought needed to be thrown out and everything um and and the one goes up to the owner and goes do you do you know these people? Like, look what I found. <laughs> found a box of boats. <laughs> found a box of well, she boats. She goes to me. She goes. If these are human, I'm gonna have to report these. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> they're not. No, human. they're a cow. <laughs> it's a cow. It's yeah. a cow. You just a, didn't find the the skull yet. <laughs> it's a cow in a copy paper box. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh man, I remember that. <laughs> That was hilarious. <coughs> yeah, so those are those are always fun. So when people come to our house, they do, so, do question Tracy, things. Tracy, now you see why we don't have company. <laughs> They're like, we're not going over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The fun house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember the box. I remember she's like... What is this? <laughs> it's a cow. <laughs> oh, you found the cow. <laughs> oh, it's a cow. Yeah. I've been looking for that. <laughs> I knew it was there. I just hadn't gotten to clean it yet. I hadn't gotten around to it, you know? Things like that happen. <laughs> just you guys have one. heard the story about how I got interested in her. Have we told them that? We've I don't, told we've them told that. Other but I, we've told them that, but I don't know, besides Tracy, if anybody was even in the room when you told them. I know Andrew knows. Chris, if they're still here, they know. Yeah. But my office used to be across from her classroom. Yes. And, yeah, I was interested in the little girl across the hall, maybe. But one night I'm getting ready to leave work, and she's in... On the floor in her classroom, skinning a deer. <laughs> High school science classroom. <laughs> One of my deer. students, by the way, brought me it was a, a deer head, a deer head and, and legs in a plastic bag one day to school, and uh, you know I used it as a teachable moment in class. And then after school, it was my time. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have to admit, my principal, he was he was leaving and he was walking out and he walked past my room and he stopped in, you know, because he would do that after school, you know, he'd pop in to say goodnight or whatever. And, and he, he, lo- he came in, he looked and he's like, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> now he comes in and I'm like, hey, um, nobody else is around and my hair's falling out of the like bun thing. Can you like... Yeah, Help she's me. covered in blood. And, uh. So Tracy wants to know, when did Marianne start this collection, or should I say what caused it? Okay, so um, when I was in college, uh, I had to do a plant collection. And so I went out in the woods collecting, you know, plant samples. And I found a cat loom just the arm bones, you know, of one of the limbs. And I brought it home. Out in the woods? Out in the woods. Out in our woods? Yeah. Oh, dear God. And I brought it, I brought it back to, I brought it well, into the house. Well, is there a cat limb in our woods? I brought it into the house, and I was laying it out all my plants and stuff in the kitchen of my mom's, of my mom's You're kitchen. You're just a leg of a cat? Yeah. Did it, was it sticking out of the ground, or was no, it just hanging just, in a tree, or what? It's just laying on the ground. God. So, anyways, I yeah. I had it along with my plant samples, and I was laying everything out in the kitchen floor. My mom like freaked out. She's oh, like, "Get imagine. that out of my kitchen!" <laughs> yeah. So here's the wag ragweed. There's a there's a cat paw. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the first thing that I ever collected that Ooh. was you know bone related, and then after that point, uh, when I started going Did to my biology conventions. You don't still have a cat part. Is I it don't, in this room somewhere? I don't know where it's at. Oh, jeez. I, I put it, I had it in my, my grave digging bag, which, by the way, I used to grave dig as well for archaeological Different purposes. Different story. Different story. But I it put it legal. in, yeah, I, I had permission. I put it in that, I had put it in my grave digging bag. She had permission. I did. I put it in my grave digging bag and put it in the garage. And now I don't have uh, any idea what happened to that bag. And so I don't have it. I think my parents may have thrown it out, you know. <laughs> throughout the cat paw? Throughout my entire grave digging bag. Oh. Which had the cat paw in it. You know, it was it was just the bones. It wasn't like still fleshy or anything. <laughs> okay. See, uh. Big T Coins used to have a stuffed rattlesnake. I have one of those in my classroom. <laughs> Yeah, we have to do a video for Marianne's classroom. You pull out a drawer and it's like, ugh. Pull out this drawer. (laughs) Pull out another drawer. (laughs) Stop it. It's not that bad. (laughs) Yes, it is. No, it's not. Not for you. (laughs) She's got a drawer full of monarch butterflies. Well, all kinds of butterflies and all kinds of beetles is in another drawer. And, okay, you thanks know. for the correction. Yeah, well, they're not all monarchs, you know. I just have to point that out. Um, Budget Bushcraft said, I used to be that science student assistant that killed the critters for physiology. <laughs> Do you see what Andrew posted? <laughs> Sean, is that really worse than what's his name in the living room? Actually, he's in here now, by the way. Yeah, Thank he, you very much. He moved, he moved. to the studio. Yeah, he moved in here. That's not bad. We no. just adopted him. Yeah. We gave him a home so he didn't end up in a landfill. <laughs> and Budget Bushcraft said that he it's under the bed. That's kind of cool. His his stuff rattlesnake. Uh oh, and Big T Coins used to have a pet black empress scorpion named Spike. See? I'm not the only one who has all Yeah, but his was living. Well, yeah. <laughs> True. True. We True. had pet turtles at one time. We they're, still do. <laughs> their skeletons are over here. Oh man! Yeah. Actually, one of one of my turtles um, that I used to have as a classroom pet. We're looking for him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I took him um, back to school all the time. He had a, a aquarium that he lived in at the school, and Down I would the bring him. Hole. How you doing? Hi. I'd bring him home on, on, you know, 
breaks and vacations and things like that so he wasn't lonely and um the one day i left for work and i said okay i'm gonna i'll take you back to school tomorrow to see all the kids and i came home from school and he had sat on his hot rock all day and he cooked himself and so he died and um so i took him out and i threw him in the woods and you know that's where he he lived you know from that while well, he was dead i'm sure some animal probably ate him but you never know i might find him again someday tracy wants to know what it is what i don't is... know if we should say on the live show. what 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 the item that andrew brought up oh um it's not illegal to to own but because of where it came from um, well, do we, what if we just say we won't say where it came from? So it's it, it's legal to own that. Well, yeah, yeah because yeah. I guess you get relatives' yeah. ashes. Yeah, it's it's ashes of a person. Um, they were not. Evicted. Yes, they were evicted, they were evicted from, where, evicted they from were where they were. So we adopted them. So we adopted them. Yes. So we adopted them. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. What is his name? Uh. I could go read the tag again. I it's escaping me right this second. I want to say Anderson, but it's not. It's like I forget. No. But That's anyhow, crazy. but in my classroom I have human skeletons, and <laughs> those you have to have special permissions to have. Yeah. But it's not illegal to have ashes because people do that all the time. You okay. know, you get your relatives ashes and but he just happened to be evicted um <laughs> learning some interesting stuff about marianne <laughs> yes yeah you guys see her on her you think she's just so sweet, sweet and little kind. i keep telling you guys <laughs> she scares me sometimes but that's okay Budget Bushcraft used the smack rat heads on the edge of the table right before the dissection classes. Nice. I used to pith the frogs. We had to do the. We had to pith our frogs. I don't want to know what that is. Basically, you shove a. I don't want to know. I I just said I don't want to know what it is, and she proceeds with the explanation. <laughs> you shove a what in a frog? You shove a, a cat a, paw. No, you shove a mall probe or a metal stick um into its spinal uh, column okay stop stop <clears throat> my father-in-law keeps his dad in a filing cabinet in the basement it says down the rabbit hole yep. well this gentleman we never met him right but we kind of like adopted him mm -hmm. we're like yeah we'll take him so he's, is he on the sh shelf? He's on the shelf over there. He's on the shelf. So. Yeah. It'll be willed to our nieces and nephews at some point when they're going to go through our stuff to be going, oh man, we never knew. <sighs> yeah. Uh... Tracy, it's, it's funny you bring that up. You say, I thought you were going to say you had a cadaver. Um. As you know, I have now, that. Now, wait a second. Let's back up because we do have new people here. Let's back up just I for a second. I am a biology and forensic yes. science teacher. She is not a serial killer, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I'm aware of. No, no I do not have those tendencies. <coughs> no. Um, for scientific study right, and research. Right. So, um, I have a... I, I have, obviously, my biology classroom, but uh, I also teach forensic science. And so for my forensic science portion of the course, I built a little house um, that I do crime scenes in. And uh, so, of course, there I have to, you know, it's a crime a scene. Cadaver. I have to have dead bodies once in a while, right? So uh, I have a stuffed mannequin man mannequin and i have a regular like store mannequin and i like put them out in different you know clothes and displays and you know different murder scenes and the first year that i did that um my principal called me one day on the phone and he's like um marianne i'm like yeah and he's like uh we got a report from the police department <laughs> 
Somebody reported. Somebody reported that you have a ca- a human cadaver in your classroom. And I'm like, well, you know what? You know that there's the two human skeletons mm. in the back of the room. You know that they're there. They've been here before me and before you. You know, they've always been here. And it's like, no, they're saying it's a. a you a, went a little too far. Yeah, you went a little too class. far this time. And what I'm like, a human cadaver. He's like, do you have a human cadaver in there? And I'm like. I have the stuffed dummy, but I don't have a cadaver. Do you know how much cadavers cost? <laughs> Do you know what what you would be paying for my for my supplies you didn't see if that it was purchase that? Purchase order. I'm like you didn't. Yeah, that's what I told him. I'm like you didn't see a purchase order for like that much money, did you? And uh, so it was kind of funny. Um, he's like, okay, I just I had to to inquire. I'm like, you can come down here and check it out. He's like, no, I, I you're, I'm good. <laughs> but it was it was funny that you know because. They, somebody somebody must have come in for parent-teacher conferences or something. I don't know. Uh, but somebody said that, you know, I had a cadaver, in my, a human cadaver in my room. But it wasn't. It was just the stuffed dummies and the human skeletons in the corner. But they'd been there for years. And uh, schools are allowed to, to have those, by the way, um, uh, because we have special, you know, security policies and things like that. Um, we actually got them because the place that had them didn't have the ability to uh, maintain those security policies. You mean the skeleton? The, the human skeletons, yeah. yeah. And uh, so they were given to us. And I actually went to the Cleveland Natural History Museum a couple years ago to go talk with the curator of the, the museum and all, all that to go over some stuff with the skeletal remains. And I was talking to him about these, and he's like, oh, yeah, schools all over have those. <laughs> you know, people did that a lot. So there's a lot of them out there. <clears throat> so you are like Dexter, says Big T Coins. Uh, I don't think so, because I've never seen Dexter. Everybody tells me I would love it. But I, as far yeah, as I know, seen it Dexter, like, killed the people, I think. And, and then he was a cop, I think that investigated the killings that he did. I think it was the coroner. It's a coroner? I don't know. But he was a serial killer. But he was a serial killer, yeah. Mm. I'm not, I... But we haven't seen that yet. Yeah. It's going to be one of those things that once we get hooked on it, we'll probably binge it. Probably, yeah. Someday we'll we'll watch that. Uh, I'm going to haunt everybody I've ever met, says Budget Bushcraft. Hey, I am with you on that, (laughs) Budget Bushcraft. I probably will, too. And Big T Coin says they have the ashes of two of their cats that they had cremated. I always said that I was going to um, have my uh, animals stuffed. Um, but then when the time came, I couldn't do it. So <coughs> I don't have those. But I, but like I said, I do have the, a couple of little turtles that, that we had as pets that didn't make it through the years. I have a couple of those. So, folks, we have 11 watching. If you haven't hit that thumbs up yet, hit that thumbs up. Show us some love. And I know a lot of you guys go into live streams a lot. In order to make sure you do that because that does help the creator out with those videos. Mm-hmm. It helps out. It helps taking those videos and putting them into the logarithm. because. It, and I just watched this. Uh, it came out from YouTube. They said that the thumbs up and comments and stuff on the videos makes a huge difference of those videos getting ranked in the searches. That's one thing that they definitely look at is to see if people like what they're watching. So if you're having a good time, give us a thumbs up. We'll take and donate them to the cat hoof. (laughs) And hey, if you're creeped out by me, Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, if Mary ain't creeped you out in any way whatsoever, <laughs> go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Yeah. Big T Coin says that Dexter was a forensics blood spatter analysis for the police. So he's a forensic officer. Okay. Yeah. And Tracy says we're hilarious. <laughs> Not trying the to be. The problem I'm is just, it's all true. It's all true. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Yeah, Budget Bushcraft says he couldn't stuff a pet. It's just too creepy. Yeah, because I originally, I really, I did want to do that because at the Cleveland Natural History Museum, they did have a a desiccant um, that they could do that, that they 
done several of them in the past. And um, I had seen it on one of my backrooms tours up there. Shocker. And I said, I'm going to use that. I'm going to do that when the time comes. But, yeah, I couldn't do it either. Uh, we're going to stay on for a little bit because if we are, I'm going to go get some ice. Oh, it's up to you. We're doing good. It looks like we got more people coming in. So. Okay. All right, so you want me to move in so you can get move out. Move in. Keep the check going. Okay. Oh. All right. Think of a topic. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Atlantis Paranormal, hello and welcome. I really enjoy watching your streams. You all do an amazing job at telling the story and presenting evidence. Thank you. Yeah, that's... We aim to do that. We hope that we do it do it justice. Um, some of the locations, you know, they're they're big locations, and it's kind of hard um, to do that to the justice that we feel it deserves. Uh, with his his weak plan, you know, we we really have a, a set schedule, and there's just some things that didn't quite fit into different categories of the videos, so. Tracy, we need a tour of Marianne's collection. Well, I think that uh, over time you will get to see a lot of it um, just because I have been, I, I've shown you my eBay purchases and things like that. Uh, and it's, they're not always eBay purchases, as, as you know. Um, I'll dig up some, uh, some, some of my old pictures from when my room was done up. Uh, because now it's the studio room, so not all of my stuff is out on display anymore. I'm kind of like a uh, museum. I have the current display and I have the, the yeah, rotation. Traveling displays. The, and we have traveling displays and things like that. So I'll try to, to dig up some of the pictures from when this room was the fossil room um, before we There's not too much it. that's put away. It's definitely not decorated the way it was. I, there's a lot of stuff that's not out. There is. Like, there's a lot of my... Every time we get close to this room being done, we, something happens. Yeah. So, like, right now the floor has a bunch of stuff. Marion was working on Some taking displays. her displays and putting them in, which we have to get those done. Yeah. But at some point, once this room is finished, like, this thing's been sitting back here forever. I want to <laughs> hang it on the wall up there. <laughs> And we got blinds to hang up in here. You know, it's just... <clears throat> yeah. Once we get stuff done, then we'll do a vlog so you guys could see everything in here. But right now, it's kind of, like, messy. They said Boris was leaning to the left. So I turned... Hanging to the left I rotated him a little bit. Maybe that'll uh. help. Uh, Budget Bushcraft says Pet Cemetery. Yeah, I have so many skulls. And they're all... Most of them are away. Um, but... When I go to my biology teacher convention, there's usually one of two, or sometimes both, uh, of the, what's in the areas. Cup? Let's what's know in, what's in the cup. That would be ice water. It's ice water, because <laughs> it's literally, I just checked the thermostat on the way in here, it is 84 degrees in this house. Nice. Um, but there's a, there's a couple companies that, that ha sell skulls that they've cleaned up, and, you know, that's their, <clears throat> their thing. They sell, like... Um, some of them are real and some of them are clones and, uh, they generally have like ones that aren't perfect that you can buy like super cheap, um, when you're there at the conferences. So, you know, something that might've cost 50 or $60, I might be able to get it for 10 because, you know, part of it's broken off or cracked or whatever. So I have a lot of that kind of stuff. Secondhand skulls. Yeah. Yeah. Seconds. Seconds. Seconds, yeah. So I have a ton of those. Like whenever I would go, um, I would get those. And uh, when I was out west, when I went out to um, uh, Jackson Hole. Jack Wyoming, Jackson Hole, I bought a couple of things in Jackson Hole. I bought a, a bearskin rug there. I bought, um, I bought a couple of uh, other skulls. And I... I try to ship my skulls home now. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot better to ship them home than try to bring them through TSA. <laughs> yeah, the first couple of times I did bring them through TSA, but that wasn't with me. No, 
But now so with TSA have, and being so... if you have so... ghost hunting equipment and skulls, you definitely pretty much just better go like an hour and a half ahead of time because you're getting, you're, they're going to take you in that little back room. <laughs> yeah. So I, I me, always sir. ship those home now when I buy those things. I, I find a UPS or a FedEx and I'm like, I need to send these off, you know, rather than take them through. I haven't bought any in about two or three years because they've all been pretty much the things that I already had. And uh, so I I haven't really gotten any newbies. But you never know. We're headed out to California this year. Uh, I think some other shops are out that way. They might bring more to the next convention. See what happens. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So I have rotating displays. Like, I don't have any of those little guys out and at all. Oh, I, I, I have a whale uh, vertebrae and a walrus vertebrae here. The whale vertebrae. You have two of them. I you have, have two. I have one at school and I have one here. And, huge, I have a couple, and I have two walrus huge. vertebrae as well. Francis Spirits and Kitty says they're going to go live soon. Cool. So we can head over to your stream when we're done here. Uh, oh, budget bushcraft. Let's talk about 3D printing. Stop killing the squirrels. What? I don't even think I have a squirrel skull. <laughs> but 3D printing, that's pretty awesome. I have i have always wanted a 3D printer. Like, always wanted one. And I keep considering purchasing one. And then Sean's like, well, I don't think you really need one, do you? What would we really do with it? And I'm like, I'm sure I could find something to print, you know. So I haven't actually done it. I've decided to purchase actual pieces of buildings instead and, you know, historical items. But you never know. I might get one eventually. Do you have a 3D printer? No, I think he's telling you to print them instead of killing the squirrels. To print the skulls instead of killing them. Well... They usually get them when when something has happened to them. Yeah. It's not like they go they out and purposely no, kill them. No, they don't. The com- <laughs> at least the companies that I purchase from don't usually do that. They usually just get what comes in. Have you guys ever had a negative experience from par- from investigating the paranormal? I can't say that I really have. No. Not just on the- wood. Just when we were taking people out. Because when we when we were doing Dark Shadow Ghost Tours, we would take people out. And we would run the investigation. Mm-hmm. And that's when we would have the, like, not a good time. Because we actually couldn't investigate because we're running the show, so to speak. But this last time when we did one, we did it for uh, Hotel Conneaut. We ran the tour. We had a great time because most of the people, actually I think everybody was staying there. So we didn't have to worry about the facilities, didn't have to worry about carrying first aid and all that stuff like that. So we actually got to enjoy it a little bit and and had a great time. And um, But the Mansfield Prison, when we took people out there, that was a little nerve-wracking. And Hillview was a couple times when we took people there. It just got, you know, people's people. And when you're in charge and, you know, you're worried about people getting hurt and things like that. Yeah, I like it when we don't have to worry about all that stuff. But as far as dealing with a negative entity or yeah. or, or dark entity, yeah, we, we did that one residential one that was kind of... Yeah, but I still didn't <clears throat> feel... No, because we were prepared. We yeah. knew what was what we were dealing yeah. with. We knew that it was it was negative and bad when we went in. It. Yeah, but and we so it wasn't like surprised. Yeah. Yeah. But we haven't had anything happen to us as a result, so No. And we were actually before we before we went live, we were watching uh I won't say the name because I don't agree with a lot of the stuff that they were saying on there, but yeah, what they were going on. But, you know, we do protection prayers and all that stuff like that. We learned all that. And that's what we teach people when we take them out. And, um, but they, the way they were going off on that documentary was, I can see why people think, oh, there's demons everywhere. <clears throat> but 
we've had I mean we've been doing this since 2010 what we do mm-hmm. with researching and going out and like like what Tracy brought up to us earlier where we were talking about those pictures immediately when we saw that I, I saw it, or you saw it, and you sent me a message saying, look what Tracy found yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Immediately, I said to her, when I get home from work, be ready. We're going back down there. And that it's like the way we approach it, we were like on the case. It's like, yeah. boom, we got a case. We've got to go down there and yeah, see if we get duplicate and, and, and take that scientific approach. And that, it's like an adrenaline yeah. rush. Yeah, because I really wanted to be able to duplicate it and say it was dirt on the window because those windows were really dirty. Like yeah. they were, they hadn't been clean in a while. They were, they they had, you know, dirt on on them. But what the, I, like the point water. I was trying to make is that's kind of like how we research and investigate. It's like we get that little lead or like say we're when we're, we're really excited this weekend to start working on the Lizzie Borden stuff because we might find something new. We're going to probably go digging through all of our books and all this other stuff and get into that research of putting together presentations and all that stuff like that. And then our experiences of being able to be there and tell you guys what we experienced when we were there. That's what we do. That's what we love to do. That's what our channel is about. And that's that's the part that's really, really cool. Um, yeah. Ben Chavez just <clears throat> got back his dog got sprayed by a skunk oh, and he had to go no. deal with that that's horrible that happened to PSPR too really I think one there of a lot of skunks coming took out took out a skunk that was eating their wow. hens or something wow we uh we 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 smell them a lot on the way to work in the morning because for whatever reason they get run over a lot on 534 where we where we work yeah but Poor puppy. Gets a little gamey. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure your whole house does smell pretty scary right oh. now. Oh, that's, oh gosh, I'm so sorry for you. Get out the, the tomato, tomato juice. juice. Oh, I'm glad oh, I'm you glad did, I'm glad you Tracy. did, Tracy. That was awesome. Because I didn't catch it and I edited the video. <laughs> I didn't see it. Yeah. I'm glad you did. Yeah, and and I was excited that it, when you said that, I'm like, we literally were just there. So if it was dirt, I'm going to be able to prove it's going to be dirt. It didn't rain. You know, because it hadn't rained. Yeah, it hadn't rained. Um, (laughs) And then, you know, when we went down there, we're like, okay, well, it could be leaves. (laughs) It could be. It smells paranormal in there now (laughs) from the skunk. (laughs) Nice. But, uh,. Yeah, so I'm glad you did, Tracy. That was awesome. And the fact that it was so close that we were able to run back and check it yeah. out, that was even better. Yeah, because Tracy, a lot of if times, that would have been something we threw up, like, from the Queen Mary or the... Yeah. And we couldn't go back, we would be like, Devastated. oh, no. How are we going to get back there? Yeah, because there, uh, there's so many places that we've been, and we've only been there once, and... If we could go back there to try to see if we can replicate things or if we can, you know. Yeah, that's the hard part, the far yeah. ones. Like Lizzie Borden. Yeah. The experience of getting to the Lizzie Borden house was horrid. <laughs> we didn't drive there. But um, to go back there would, would take a little bit of, I don't know how we would do it be honest with you we want to go back to st augustine we've been there twice i want to go back now knowing what i know about the paranormal right and we haven't made it down there <sighs> and, I, and we want to go back to uh ocracoke island mm-hmm. trying to get there trying to get there is difficult because it's in <clears throat> it's in the outer banks and you have to get there by ferry ferry they do have a tiny little private airstrip maybe we need to talk andrew if he's still into in getting a andrew you gotta get your plane. pilot license <laughs> we, i would fly i would fly to ocracoke on a little buddy holly plane would you me, me, me. yeah just to go to ocracoke because it was awesome he calls those little tiny planes, the buddy holly, the buddy planes. holly planes and he always says when i'm booking our airline flights he's like you didn't book us on one of those little buddy holly planes did you i'm like 
I don't even think that like the big commercial airlines have the little body blankets. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, big T Coins has met Jason Hawes and Steve Gonsalves from Taps, um, and um, met them at a casino in Florida where they were doing a meet and greet. When are we going to be in Michigan? Don't know. We do not have any plans to be in Michigan in the near future, um, but there are places that we still need to get to in Michigan. Yeah, and it's close. And it's, yeah, it's not that far. Mm -mm. No, we could be in Ann Arbor in four hours, I think. Is that it? Yeah. I thought it was like six. No. Is it really only four? Yeah. Wow. There's places in Ohio that take six hours to get to. Yeah. Uh, if you if we ever make it to East Lansing, we'll have to meet up with Ben. Absolutely. Yes. Well, it's now that we're into the you know YouTube thing and the channels and stuff, that's one thing that we're doing. Like when we started before the channel, when we just had PanicD.com, we always looked for ghost tours and the stuff when we traveled mm -hmm. um now we're starting to see okay what youtuber do we know that's in that area we want to get with him and collab that's like the thing with michael that was like almost to him and he's like i'll come down to gettysburg it was like yeah so how far was it for him? i think an it was hour? like an hour hour and he a said, half i'll come to gettysburg i'm like hey cool we'll be there so we must be five hours apart from uh michael mm -hmm. ferro jr and he came down so mm -hmm. as we travel when we go to San Diego in November, which is our next big trip, mm -hmm. um, we might be hooking up with uh, Michael Scott. Yeah, we, he we've lives talked about Corona. Of, yeah, yeah, and my and my relatives live in Corona, so yeah, yeah. So it, definitely, Benjamin, we come up there into the Michigan area. If I forget you're from Michigan. When you know, they say you where say, we're going. Hey, w w here's where we're going. You say, hey, I'm. A, you remember, I'm from here. We just remind us. We'll definitely mm -hmm. hook up. We'll do a collab or something like that. That would be awesome. That would be really awesome. That makes that trip even more pleasurable. You know, mm -hmm. when Michael come down and met with us in Gettysburg, we spent that day with him and just had a blast. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Yeah. It's like people meeting up with the same hobby. You know. Yeah. Mm hmm. <clears throat> There are tons of places in PA Bitcoin, so PanicD.com has a few of them listed. Uh, you can check those out uh, and uh, see if there's something near you. And of course, that's obviously not all the locations, and not all the locations in there are live because we don't have all the required elements. Uh, however, uh, that's pretty pretty helpful yeah our main website is panicd.com and it's a database of over 800 locations across the united states i probably have another hundred in notebooks and like somebody this hamilton house in greenfield indiana now we're doing a channel everyone's like hey you gotta check this out check this out check that out yeah. i haven't figured out time where i can sit down and do that but i'm keeping track of all of these i could probably add another 100 150 to that of different locations and um our haunted travels which is our series here on youtube is over 200 of those locations that mm -hmm. we traveled to yeah so hsfl paranormal says that they are three hours from winchester house and three hours from the queen mary uh queen mary is awesome we are that's so cool uh, we're headed where are to you San at HS, Diego. Where are you at HSL Paranormal in California? Yeah, because we're headed to San Diego in so November. So we have family in Newport Beach, and she's got, well, we, we, we have family in Corona and family in Newport Beach, mm -hmm. California. Mm -hmm. And my one, my cousin was working in LA, making that drive from Newport Beach to LA. <clears throat> um, we were out there in 2011. We went out for the conference and we hit la you had down LA. to i was in my meetings you and my yeah, sister the went to la was in anaheim mm -hmm. so the trip was we flew in the night we flew in we stayed we spent the night on the queen mary which mm -hmm. was awesome mm -hmm. and then we went to anaheim and then we took a day went up to la newport beach and what was the name of that mission that we went to uh the old mission 
Yeah, but there was some Spanish name to it. Okay. That was kind of cool. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, but yeah, when I go out to my conferences, most of the time the conference is over like four or five in the afternoon. Most of the time it's about five. Uh, a couple days it goes to six, but um, then we have our evenings free. So we try to find a paranormal location to go to in the evenings uh, that's nearby and kind of give it a check it out thing. Yeah, HSL Paranormal and uh, Alanis Paranormal, we have videos out there already. We already did the Queen Mary. Mm -hmm. um, our videos are out there about our experiences and stuff. Actually, that was a collab with uh, Michael Scott. That's right. the one we collabed with him. Mm -hmm. So says that there's San, Saint, San Luis Obispo, uh, about one Santa and a half Barbara. hours north Actually, of I Barbara. used to have a, a, Four a hours great from LA. aunt. I had a great aunt that lived San in Santa Barbara. Really? Yeah. That's where the, Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. is that where the Rose Bowl was? The Rose Bowl Parade? Isn't that Santa Barbara? Or maybe it's San Bernardino. I don't know. I don't know. Saying something. <sighs> so God bless you with that traffic out there. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah, it was a, it was pretty intense. So. Um, <laughs> better say we. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't really care. What? You know, he says better say we because you said all oh, well we have relatives. Well, we you know, do have we, relatives on we your side. Do. And my yeah. Side. Yeah, but like I'll say I more than I say we, and it doesn't bother me. I like when you say I had to pay for that, and I'm like, what the frick are you talking about? <laughs> hey, all the money you is have, mine. Your money right. is you mine. My money, money is mine. And you it's have all my mine. money. So that's right. <laughs> I had to pay. That. <laughs> I gotta wait five days to get the freaking air conditioner back on. But I have to give them a check tomorrow. <laughs> I don't touch Which, the by the way, I probably should transfer some of that money over tonight so it's transferred over. Yeah, screw it. It takes three days for a check to clear. <laughs> Before we go to bed, I'm going to transfer that money over. All right. Because I don't want to give them the other. Yeah, that, that that mission, I forget the name of it. I'll have to yeah. dig that one up. Yeah, it was like all you know what? HS, Yeah, HS, HSL Paranormal. HSFL. HSFL, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's okay. HSFL Paranormal. I'm going to find out the name of the one that we went to, and I'm going to get a hold of you personally, somehow, probably your Twitter if you're on whatever, and see if you know any paranormal claims about the one that we went to. Because remember, we were looking it up to mm -hmm. see if we could find anything. Mm -hmm. We couldn't find anything, so it didn't get added to the database. And I forget the name. It's some long sand, blah, 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 whatever. But yeah. it it's was a terracotta. cool mission. I know that. Everything in it was the orange terracotta. But I couldn't find anything about the paranormal <laughs> claims or anything like that. So that would be cool to add that. Mm -hmm. I got so many I need to add. You do. I don't know what you did all summer. I didn't do anything all summer. They are seven hours north of San Diego. So you're north of L.A.? Mm -hmm. It. I, see, I don't... Okay, here's what happened. Okay? Here, here's what happened. My aunt and uncle and cousin live in Newport Beach. Newport Beach. So it's okay. somewhere near there. Yeah. So when we went out to California, we took my mom and Mary and sister out there because her sister wanted to go to Disney and my mom was going out to stay with my aunt. Well, Mary Ann had her conference. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I said, the only thing I wanted to do was to go to i wanted to go to queen mary and i would like to go up and see some of la and stuff like that so <clears throat> the night we flew out we had a car service pick us up at the airport and take us to the queen mary and we spent the night on the queen mary got up it was so cool because it was all foggy and our pictures that and stuff was were out there. Super yeah awesome. that was really cool very cool so then my aunt and uncle met us in uh at the queen mary and picked up my mom and then they went to newport beach and mom was down there with them for for a while and then we went to anaheim and you did your conference and all that mm -hmm. and other stuff so once the conference was kind of like winding down or over or whatever it was um we we met with them again and 
Were we going out to dinner that day? We went out to dinner, yeah. So my uncle picked us up in Anaheim, <clears throat> the three of us. It was her sister. Yeah, picked us up. And on our, on our way from Anaheim to Newport Beach, we stopped. He goes, I need to show you this mission. Mm -hmm. We stopped at that mission. So it's somewhere between Anaheim and Newport Beach. I don't know exactly where. Yeah. <clears throat> and was your sister with us? She had to have been. She was. Yeah. And yeah. then we went out to dinner that night. And then he, or maybe Missy drove us back. I don't remember. We went back that, we spent yeah, the night we, in Anaheim. Yeah, we went back to the hotel. <clears throat> Mission Viejo. That sounds that familiar. That sounds familiar. That sounds very familiar. That sounds familiar. Mission Viejo. Mm-hmm. Mission and Viejo is old, so old mission. So I'm. I old could. <laughs> if I looked at the pictures, I would know. No, there wasn't any water around it. No, that's not it. There wasn't water around it. It was like out in the middle of nowhere. I'll have to text yeah. my aunt and ask her the name of it. Yeah, it wasn't San Juan Capistrano either, because I would have remembered that it was the Capistrano one. Mission San. I could tell if I look at a picture. It's not, so I'm looking them up. It's not Capistrano. I know it's not Capistrano. San Juan. I would have known that name. Mm -hmm. Although no, no, it, no. There wasn't any mountains or anything around it. It was like, and everything was terracotta colored. I remember that. Like, yeah, and it wasn't like a ruin. It was. It was like a, uh, it was more set up like a museum type thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, it was If I redone. had my hard drive, I could pull it up, but my hard drive's in the other part of the house. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out someday. Uh, yeah. I'll, maybe we'll find them and we'll show the pictures on the live stream. Or, uh, I could text my aunt and ask her the name. But I want to know if there's paranormal claims there. Is that, I, we couldn't find any on the internet. Mm-hmm. But since you're around there, maybe you kind of know a little bit more. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Well, it is getting Three to hours. be late. And um, wow, maybe we could head over to, who was it that said they were having a live stream? Kittens. Kitten. Let's we can head over live. there and see if we uh, Let's see if we're live and we can post the link and you guys can head over there and we'll go over there for a little bit. See how I did that. Um, I know how to do that, but I have to find it in the stream. Doesn't look like she's alive yet. We can post the link to her channel. Let me if see if I can find it. I can't find her post. So I yeah. found it. Scroll. How up. far was it? Pretty do you far. remember? That's pretty far. So Francis Spirits and Kitties is a parapet. There it is. Um, she lives in uh, Florida, actually. She's the one that uh, did the cemetery with the uh, audit of the sideshow people and Carney people, the abandoned cemetery. So Marion's going to post a link to her channel. You can go check her out. She's supposed to be going live here pretty soon I put her channel in so we're gonna wrap it up yep and we will go take a little break and we will see be we posting a new live. video here tomorrow morning yeah I gotta go edit a video and then we will see you live on Saturday at 5 5 p.m. live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I lost my screen. How'd you do that? There it is. Okay, guys. Those of you who hung around with us, thank you. We thank, thank you, you thank very you. much. We Got appreciate us closer to that goal. Yes. Appreciate it very much. Yeah. Thank you for stopping in and chatting with us tonight. And uh, Big T Coin says they're looking up a 
up haunted locations near them seems to be a haunted hotel and an inn in the small town that they live in. That's cool. pretty cool. So just cross-reference and see if I have it in a panic. And key. if and not. If, I, if not, if you join our Discord... There's a section for Panic D leads. Mm -hmm. If you find a web page or something that's not in Panic D, you drop it in our Discord, and when I get around to adding stuff, there's my leads. Right. So. All right. All right. So again, thank you for stopping by. We'll see you guys again on Saturday. We got a video coming out in the morning, uh, and then Lizzie week. <laughs> Sorry. Don't you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Hey, until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting.